Hello, what's happening everybody? Hope you're having a beautiful and amazing day. So very happy to be here for show number 2804 and our continuing FTL fresher than light save. Um, playing Slug C here. Let's complete our first ship on the save. We're on run number six or seven now. Uh, let's head on in and see the day takes us somewhere fun, I'm sure. Thank you all for being here for our 11th of 31 days of Fragmas summer. It's been great so far. Let's uh, see what happens. Before we get started here, going to cobble the fine people in chat and your wonderful support. What's up, Dukowski, Lane Boy? Good to see you, sir. Skills a lot. Rose Town Rugger, Esquire, Funky, Gornilla. What's up, Greg and Balto, Admiral Agmir? Hey there, Dukowski. Aloha. What's up, Night Shift Coffee? What's good, KSWA, Bufanti, Emil, Tavi. Hey there, Dindy, Tile Lightsome, and all the rest. Thank you, everybody. What's up, Soki? Yo, before I get things kicked off here, KSWA, thanks for 65 months. Appreciate ya. Alright, feel free to throw out some name suggestions for this fine, very yellow vessel. I'm going to grab some names from our forever naming game list here. Where was I? Here we go, we're on Zarinma. Mythic Applesauce, or Mythic Apple in this case. And Dubstep. Hey there, Mr. Iswa. Thanks for 71 months, man. 71. Yes, the ship does have a very interesting start. Mind control and hacking, but a very weak starting weapon. And chain laser. Alright, let's combine two here. It'll be the Sour Taxi. And we're off. All right, if you're new to FTL, this is the roguelike game of space exploration. It's our goal to work our way through eight different sectors of randomly generated space on our way to a three-phase flagship fight. Um, the This map right here represents one sector. The lines within will be the rebel fleet pushing us forward towards the exit and beyond. Hey, Shire Horse, thanks for 16 months. Interject Apathy, thanks for 47. And thank you all for this hype train to start our stream. Do choose to share your resub notifications, subscribe, use bits, or gift. Got a chance to some exclusive emo unlocks. Just thanks so much for being here today. What's up, Dime Black? Okay, um, kind of liking the idea of taking these four jumps before the store. We do have the Slug Repair Gel to sell, which just sells for 30. Let's begin right here. Investigate the battlefield? Nothing. Okay. Another store. Weird. Hmm. <laughs> attack him before he can attack. Okay, this is a little scary. A little brutal, even. Okay, so there is a way to time this out. Okay, that was successful. Okay, weapons getting hits tough because... reasons. Oh, weapons again, yikes. Oh, we haven't taken damage yet, that's nice. Weapons again, jeez, dude. Give me a break here. 
Give me a break. <laughs> Fair. The technique I'm using is very important because otherwise our shield goes down. It's not hitting our shields at least, which is nice. Probably gonna end up hacking weapons once this uh, goes down. Okay, that's better. Okay, it's fired at the same time. That hit. Let's just toggle it real fast. Okay, it missed the shields. Good. Okay, now it hits shields. I thought toggling it would uh, change the bar, but I guess not. All right, now we got a choice to make. Personally, I think hacking weapons makes some sense. Can probably get a crew kill if I do that. So let's go ahead. Before we do this, mind control the pilot. Let's hack weapons here. Okay, I'm going to begin my hack. Let's go ahead and shoot one at weapons here. There we go. All right. Now we're safe-ish. That is very true, Mr. Iswith. It is a very consistent way to solve uh, the weapon timing is hacking weapons. 16 seconds for the chain laser to go off, which is uh, nothing short of an eternity here. I'm just letting them duke it out here. Well, considering the situation, that went pretty good. Uh, Captain Elite 3000, thanks for that continuation, dude. Really appreciate that. Uh, and losing an FTL is a very normal experience. All right, hold on here a second. That Lane Boy and Esquire, thank you both for the $25 donation each. Going to be adding you both to the name and game list right now. Okay, I mean, you guys are going to be number 53 and 54 here on the list. For now, anyways. Alright, Esquire's in there. And that Lane Boy. Alright, Lane Boy and Esquire, you're both in the Forever Name and Game. Thank you for that huge generosity. And Captain Lee, thanks for two months once again. Appreciate that. All right, I think on this one, hacking the uh, the drone actually makes more sense. Yeah, let's go. Let's go drone hack. Fifty percent chance to destroy the drone on hit, and there is the chance that maybe the timing of the laser and the beam drone firing aren't going to be perfect. Ooh, it's still hit. Dang. I guess I goofed. Okay, we're good. Yo, Mefo, thanks for that gift, dude. Really appreciate it. Hey, MK, man, thanks for 11 months as well. One more for that year. I was going ham today. Thank you. Okay, you can hit anytime you want. Anytime now. There we go. I like boarding-style ships in general, uh, though they are complicated. 
Uh, I think the really nice thing about FTL is all the different ships have uh, little different things about them. They're all very capable. Um, let me control F you here, Great Rain. I think so. Yeah, you are. Number 97, Great Rain. If you ever curious if you're on a spreadsheet or similar document, you can hit control F and that'll pop up a search bar um, in there. It's a really nice way to find text. That works for any any page, not just spreadsheets. Uh, I think I'm going to go uh, here and then here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, something like that. Yeah, let's do that. One more jump before this store here. Yeah, I just found out about that last year myself. Uh, great rain. It's a nice little shortcut. Yo, Wonko T saying thanks for 84 months. That is seven years of support. Thank you, Wonko. Appreciate that, man. Wow, this is tough. How am I going to pull this off? I feel like if I mind control the weapons guy right now, they both collapse into that room. Let's see if that's true or not. No, they don't even move. Alright. Well... If they aren't defending here, he's going to punch down the weapons. Huh. Yo, Captain Lee, you should look up the FTL save editor. The little Java program, you can unlock whatever you want. I don't think he punches it down before the first uh, the first shot here, though. What's my correct hack? I almost feel like shields might be correct just because I can get a double hit. Got a fair bit of time for the FTL charging. We can fire the chain laser once and then twice before they jump, basically. So if they have one piloting, piloting is probably the hack we want. Let's go ahead and do piloting hack here. We gotta take the more dangerous route. Okay, it is one piloting. That's good. Okay, let's get a little mercy here. That was good. That was good. Okay, the beam drone got negated. Good. Okay, weapons are down. System repair is up. Is he coming out of the room? He is? Hell yeah, dude. Okay, now they're locked out of the room, too. Um, in that case, being locked out of the room... Let's fire at shields here. Okay, they have a bonus shield. That's tough. Oh, don't miss. Okay, to miss there. Okay, here we go. Okay, my hack's still up here, so we got some time. Let's go here. down now too, beauty. Just letting him out of the room.
AI does love shield value points. That's a very true statement. Okay, that's fine. All right, we're just very lucky that they didn't get away. Very lucky. Okay, we're gonna sell Slug Repair to buy Flak 1. I'd really prefer to buy, um, two shields right now, but I'm not gonna turn down a weapon here that has three projectiles. Also fires at 10 seconds instead of, uh, 16, so just a general improvement here. All right, here we go. Okay, it is going to be Manus repairing here. I am semi-tempted to actually swap to the chain laser at this time. Just because I can pinpoint the, uh, the weapon system here. I think I will. Definitely weapon hack. Okay, well, system repair is happening, too. That's tough. But fair, but fair. Okay, they also ran out of shields for the solar cone. I was about to get spicy for them. All right, here we go. Six fuel, two drone parts, eight scrap. That's a pretty good offer, dude. Yeah, I think I'm going to take that. We're currently using a hacking part on most fights. And uh, six fuel is not a small amount. Still kind of hear fire. All right, let's go ahead and go here. Let's fight the ship. This one, if we disable one weapon, we are looking pretty good. I think I'm going to start with Flak, and then I'll swap to the chain laser to get pinpoint here after the uh, first hit. Ooh, they shot out once first. Okay, I gotta do this again, the toggle. So he's coming towards shields anyways. It is. No, it's not. Okay, now that that's down, we're okay. Swap to the chain here. Hey, Anti-Drone's a very nice tool. Not something you commonly buy, but something I'm pretty happy to find on most uh, drone-style ships. Alright, I'm going to use uh, Mind Control on the guy that's repairing. That'll cause uh, them to actually fight. Eight missiles? Wow, dude. No, I'm good. Uh, 
All right, that's that. Got him. All right, how many jumps to the exit here? Three, so we're going one, two, three, exactly. Oh, hey, Stick needs a name here. Let's sell five missiles for 15 scrap. Sounds awesome. All right, Stick is our latest name in game. We're on number 39, I believe. No, we're on 53, Esquire. All right, let's attack the Schlaber scum here. This is going to be a, a painful experience. I think we should still use Chain Laser here, and I'm going to hack weapons, because there's nobody on the weapon system. That is helpful. Also, I should be happy there's no multiple laser here. All right, I'm going to drop everybody but the pilot in here, because if I can kill him off, that'd be awesome. Okay, missile launcher went down first. That's great. That's great. Okay, he's not quite dead yet. Let's see if we can do this. I, mean, I doubt it, but could be. Okay, they're going to try to repair weapons with the engineer. That's tough. Okay. Ooh. I think I'm going to take the Engineer here. I would like a high scrap reward, but Engineer is very desirable. I accept. That's going to be our next naming gamer, that lane boy. It's a fits. Nice. Okay. Okay, you're here. You're here. Two fuel for three drum parts. I'm going to take that. All right. Manus controlled or NG controlled. I do really like Manus controlled for the potential uh, crew kills. I think I'm going to take Manus controlled. Yeah. NG does have that three store possibility, but Manus is crew kill city right now. Um, let's go over here. Could take distress too. Go one, two, three, four. Let's go here first. I got a good feeling about a distress beacon. I'll destroy and loot this ship. They're just pirates. Just. All right, let's go ahead. A two fuel for three drone parts again? I don't know about that. Does bring us to 20 drone parts. Let's go ahead and do it. Let's just use a drone part on pretty much every fight. Probably not going to buy anything but fuel at the store since... Uh, Getting two shields is so nice right now. All right. Um, ooh, another flak one. Wow. I dare say this is incorrect at the moment. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is this is too far of an extension to offense where we're currently at with hacking and mind control. Let's just buy two fuel here and then buy two shields. Yo, what's good, Cheesy Bob? What's good? Oh, I can help you out. I got an engineer. Bam. High scrap reward. Easy. Another store. Wowzy. I don't know about that. Yo, active Ginkgo. Thanks for 99 months. Glad you could be here on your day off, dude. Five damage to the hole. All right. Okay, so this ship can be a crew kill. Let's flack the weapons to begin. Okay, let's just collapse on this guy. Okay, so we have four projectiles coming in here. Okay, our hacking got hit, fine. Oh, okay, I should have mine controlled after the fact, fair enough. All good, we're just going to hit here, and then we're going to swap to the chain laser, which is more... more efficient. Yeah, good tip there, Marty Khan. Searching is a great feature. So yeah, 60 health, all right. 44, 40, okay, we got him for sure. I'm just gonna pop this guy. There we go. The remaining three hits will be him. Actually, fire started here, so I should wait. Yeah, he left the room. Can't blame him. Enemy FTL delayed. Nice, four fuel, 21 scrap, awesome. What am I gonna actually buy at the store? You know, I guess a repair, long range scanners is still a possibility here too. Okay, probably two weapon power is what we want next. Yo, don't be bad. Thanks for 68 months and dropping a 5 gift sub package. Much appreciation. Thank you, man. Alright, this is a 3 laser ship. Honestly, probably not a crew kill here. This wasn't a solar flare, I could probably pull it off. Wait, let's go ahead and turn the O2 back on. I'm just going to vent this uh, clone bay out. Looking good. Okay, here we go. 
So this ship will be a crew kill for sure. When they can't hit us and um, we can vent the crew out. Example. Let's go ahead and get the chain laser rolling. Okay, I'm going to close this off and take a peek here. What's this health at? He's pretty low. Want him below 15 or 20 is fine. So what's going to happen now is they're going to board with the engineer. And when they do, I'm going to collapse on the engineer and then hit their mind control. Hey, Big Bear Cruise. Hope you're having a nice one too, man. It's good. Okay, you want to fight an engine? Sounds great. Pile on. Alright, what's he's gonna go repair the clone bay? Interesting. Or not. He's going back here. Cool. True, Greg and Balto. Hacking O2 is a very good option. I agree. Especially with level 2 and higher hacking, it becomes uh, even better. In my experience. Okay, let's check out what's at the start of the next sector. It seemed pretty likely to me I upgrade the uh, the weapons here. I'm going to give you the requested five missiles. You give me 20 scrap? Awesome, dude. Awesome. I think I'd prefer civilian sector over Uncharted Nebula right now. If I had long-range scanners, the Nebula is pretty desirable, but... Civvy sector is... Clean. Clean. Right, we can't afford to include this nebula. Let's go ahead and get weapon power and one power bar. So at least this way I can have flak chain online. Cool. All right, one laser. I want to try a medbay hack here. It's mind control, and then... Are they sending out a freaking boarding drone right now? <sighs> Alright, dude. How do I feel about boarding drone? Not awesome, because it caused a breach here. I think I have to forfeit the, uh, the clone bay here. That's what I'm going to do. We survive that? Okay. Right, I'm gonna let him in and then I'm gonna collapse on the boarding drone. Unfortunately, they will send out another part, but that's alright. 
Okay, I need to let the hack down here. So I can mind control again. Actually, hold on a second. Here we go. Ah, the mind control made that send out. Interesting. Please don't. I need that. Close this door off. That was really intense. Uh, let's get you out of here. The clone bay's down, so I can't afford to lose a crew. I need him alive. I need him alive. Okay, O2's back on. All right. This NG should be able to repair this breach. Yo, what's up, corn dog? Glad you could make it, dude. Cheers. Uh, no, Mr. Iswith, I think it was just timing. The pilot subsystem does not require any power to use. And as annoying as the boarding drone was, that was much uh, more beneficial than them having, let's say, um... their other laser online. I think Esquire's alright. I'm going to clone these three. I'm glad we got the crew kill. There we got the crew kill for one whole damage, two whole damage with the laser. It's worth it. Yeah, beam or combat drone would have been really bad too. I agree, Cheesy Bob. Pretty awkward fight all around. But we managed the crew kill. Good. Okay, how much power do I have right now? I think I just want to buy one more power. Let's just do that. Okay. It's my control the pilot to start here. I'm gonna hack weapons. Oh, they have two shields. I missed that. Okay. Whoops. good. Uh, I think it's likely this Manus gets stuck in here. Seems pretty likely.
Oh, I got a Kidders in my lap. How nice. Must be close to lunchtime. Well, it's within a half hour anyways, Daisy. Not bad. Not bad. All right, can we not walk back and forth on my lap a bunch? Thanks, Daisy. You sure are a critter, let me tell you. Yeah. Oh, right back into my lap then, okay. This is my life right now. Yeah, okay, can you just, just lay down? Just lay down. Okay. Okay, very uncomfortable for me, understood. This manus is stuck for sure. Yeah, she's like sitting on my leg and the armrest, so I can't properly use the keyboard. A very kitty thing to do. I think I'm going to go one, two, three, four here, and then we'll head up. Which is that right? It's either that or I take the store now. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three, six, seven. Not quite. Might need to skip this store. Or if I'm going to take the store, I take it right now. I just don't have enough to buy something at the store. I think I skip it here. Okay, one, two, so we got three, six, seven, eight. Eight before the exit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Backup battery is on the table. Store might not be the worst decision. That sounds about right, Marty Khan. Kitties be kidding. I'm gonna go here. I'll give you four fuel, sure. Nice, 29 scrap, great haul. All right, quest marker added to the map, Federation base. Three, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay. All right, we could get a store here by doing mind control, alter the announcer's opinions, or we can search among the stores, which can result in the fight. I kind of like the idea of seeing a store here, but I also like the idea of just extending our scrap advantage. So I'm gonna do this. Okay, that's also an option. Okay going to be piloting hack. I can do this easier.
Connect kind of station was the rebel ship was destroyed. The lone survivor respawns. His base is no longer safe. Let me join your crew and I'll have the station's drones patch up your ship. Sick. Alright, I'm gonna have the NG hangout in 2 I'm gonna have the Manus hangout in doors. Uh, name is Rain here. The whole repair really justifies skipping that store, too. Ooh, storage cash for military goods? I like those. Mm, it's probably weapon hack. Yeah. Okay, empty room. I'll just vent that out. A miss? No, not quite. Okay, let's go ahead and protect the chain here. They're also gonna get another cloak in right now. Well, apparently, I could have fired the flak out. Interesting. Yo, corn dog. Thanks so much for two months, man. Appreciate you keeping it dapper. Thank you, man. Okay, missile missed. Love it. That's great, too. All right, what's in the station? Just double scrap reward. Okay. Got 164 scrap on hand. That's like a lot. That is a lot of scrap to be holding. Hoping there's a store in here. It definitely could be. Daisy, I want you to know this is the most uncomfortable I've ever been sitting in this chair. Look. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, just lay back down where you were, right there. The most uncomfortable I've ever been in my chair, Daisy. Just so you know. Yo, Dr. Z, thanks so much for 38 months. 3-8. Appreciate that, dude. Thank you. Alright, one more power is not going to be wrong here. Uh, it's a Lazy Boy recliner, Corn Dog. Though I do not use the recline feature on it. Whoa! Free hull repair drone. All right. That sells for like forty-two or something. It's massive. Okay, Ford Scout's gonna be trying to run. It's what they do. Um, wow. What do here? Well, okay, if I if I hit weapons and then I mind control the unit in weapons, I can get them all in the weapons room. But we are on a ticking time bomb here because they are trying to run at the start of the fight. I gotta figure out how we're gonna pull this off. Just hacking piloting's fine, but can I get a crew kill as well?
we have one system slot remaining, Corn Dog. So each ship can have three system slots, which are shared between uh, mind control, drone control, hacking, cloaking, and crew teleporter. So we have one slot left here. Alright, we're going to be hacking weapons here. Uh, their weapon system's not insignificant, but this is a small bomb that could really disrupt our plans. I need to fire first here. I think I'm probably not getting a crew kill in this case, and that's fine. I'm going to save my mind control for after this volley, so we can mind control the person repairing. And that should pull the pilot off? No? I guess I done goof then. Uh-oh. It's not good. Okay, here we go. Now they're off. Okay, now this guy's trying to get back to piloting, but he's late to it. He's got to break down the door first. Also going to protect my chain. That's good, that's good. Mind control pilot now? Okay, good. Now he's off. Okay, our O2 is getting weird. Okay, hacks back up in time here. Why is he hanging out in the O2 room? What? Is there fire in the shields? I don't think so. Oh, this is a very awkward fight. I'm happy they didn't get away. All right, 176 scraparoni and whole repair drone in the hold. Hailed him. Uh, three missiles for three drone parts? Let's go, dude. Alright, store. Burst laser 2 sounds very desirable, as does cloaking. Wow. Um, that's tough, dude. Just getting drone control here with having hull repair drone isn't necessarily a bad option. What's it come with? Combat drone. Could go drone control burst laser 2 here. I think that's what I'm doing. It's going to be 165. That'll leave me three fuel purchase. All right. I can I can very likely get away without buying the burst laser too, but there is always the chance if you choose not to buy a weapon that you won't see any more weapons on the rest of your run. And flak one burst laser two chain laser is adequate to win win the run so that seems the way forward could also just not buy drone control or cloaking here um it seems like a free hull repair drone is something i should not turn down okay i made up my mind we're gonna go drone control we're going to go Burst Laser 2. 
Now we have six projectiles on a much faster timer than we did previously. And we have the capability to do this. Um, I, I'm halfway tempted to sell the combat drone right now. When's combat drone gonna benefit us? Does benefit us versus phase three of the flagship fight. Okay. I'm gonna hold on to the combat drone. I think it still has some uses here. Let's get to it. Cargo, what's... Okay, quite, this is the same one, I think. Okay, if these are abandoned space stations, I want to kind of avoid those. I also want to get to the exit from this jump. Go here first. Hmm. That is tough. I think I'm going to hack piloting here. Okay, and then I'm going to mind control the NGs to the repair stops here. Also, that's Artemis. That's tough. Looks good. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six jumps before this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we do have the option of going through this one too. Let's go up. We could also hit the quest now. Let's hit the quest now, that leaves us with even more options. Yeah, it leaves us options up here. Okay, station did not burn us there. Okay, this store is cool, but I have plenty of things I need to just upgrade on my ship at the moment. This doesn't connect, but this does. Both of these jumps connect to this one. Uh, let's go here first. These are the most options. Five jumps. One, two, three, four, five, or one, two, three, four, five. Okay, small refueling outpost. I mean, honestly, I'm not going to use a hacking part here. I have to weigh hacking parts versus using a hull repair drone. So I think I'm going to take two or less hull damage on a fight. There's no point in using a hack. Hmm. 
minimum on hull repair is two, maximum is five. So at this point in the game, hull repair drones are worth six to 15 scrap. And that'll go up even more as the repairs become more costly. Once you reach sector six, then buying a buying a drone part is just as cost effective and almost always more effective than buying a repair from the store. Let's use a whole repair right now. Yikes, Greg. Triple dive's tough, man. Way to survive. We've all been there mis misjudging the uh, the map. Okay, we didn't lose anybody. That's good. That was one of those events that even Clone Bay won't save your crew. So, Corndog, you can, uh, you can use... Ooh, nasty, dude. Wow. Um, I'm gonna hack weapons here. Uh, you can use drone recovery arm. You have to jump while the drone is still active. That's not a technique I use personally, but it's uh, always an option. Okay, let's get everybody in here for the repair, dude. This is nasty, dude. Stop it. A combat drone going down. <laughs> oh man, that's helpful. Oh, the NG didn't make it in. Holy crap. All right, it's happening. Okay, good. I would say using the uh, using the drone recovery arm and hull repair drone is well within the game's intended mechanics. Just really, really, really strong. Also, there's no wrong way to play a single player game, right? Okay, well, we hear fire, but we don't see any fire on any of the systems, so we know it's in an empty room, and it's not these, so I'm going to vent this door and this door. And then our fire problem is taken care of. Still hear the fire, it's here. Let's attack the rebels. I think I could maybe get a crew kill here. Let's start with a mind control of the field units. They don't even care to defend, that's fair. Triple miss, yikes. So the system has to already be damaged for them to collapse onto it. That's what happens. That's fair. That's good. Crew kill's very unlikely now, and that's fine. A kill's a kill. There we go. No pilot now. Love it. Oh. Steal the civvy supplies. Okay, I probably deserve that.
right, let's hold repair here. All right, we got a four out of five there. Nice. One twenty-five plus power to bring the next weapon online. I might just do that. Three shields is a decent uh, temptation here as well. Take a couple more jumps and see what's up. Okay, Rebel Reinforcements, alright, so this looks like a, definitely a possible crew kill. The issue being this one. Hmm. I'm going to hack drones. I'm going to wait for this defense drone to go. Ooh, it fired. Never mind. Okay, that's not what I wanted to have happen, but it did. Oh, I should have started my hack. Oops. Okay, good. Piloting's also down. Is helpful. Six fuel, five missiles, 14 scrap. That's actually pretty tempting. Uh, yeah, lane boy. Defense 2 is definitely uh, better at acquiring a single target than defense 1. It's harder to skip. The projectile fires faster and it locks on faster too. I'm going to say no surrender here. Yeah, there we go. That's better. 170 scrap a doodle. Dang. Hey, Deadly Nutty. Thank you so much for 36 months. Appreciate that three years very much. Hope you're having a great afternoon as well, Mr. Smee. Okay, let's be a hero and attack the pirate here. Well, we're going to be uh, accepting this volley at least once, though we should be able to get a crew kill here. Well, our first volley went optimal. Let's go ahead and hack weapons. I'm touring here. So uh, my options now are I can mind control the pilot and then hit them in the piloting with uh, three projectiles for 45 damage. I think even with hacking weapons here, though, we still have time to pull this off. So let's go ahead and do it. I'm going to mind control the pilot this time. We're going to slow roll this. Okay, there we go.
He's not going to finish this repair before I mind control, and then we'll have them both in the same room. In fact, it, with this, maybe I swap the flak for the chain laser. Yeah, let's go. We've got plenty of time here. Since the weapons are hacked, they take a lot longer to repair. 50% longer. we got oodles of time. So much so, I'm actually going to fire out one more set here just to get the chain laser a little charged up. destroy and salvage here. Ooh, there's a store? Okay. Me and my 208 scrap would love to see a store right now. Alright, let's just buy some fuel here. I'm just gonna buy it out. I'm gonna buy no repairs because whole repair is cheaper. I'm going to buy... Let's buy the two weapon power and the power bars. There we go. Definitely weak on defense here, but we have hull repair to kind of make up for that. Uh, next up is two hacking, three shields. Hell yeah, dude. All day. All day with these. Rebel Stronghold? Let's go. Could be a real bumpy way out of this, but that's fine. That's fine. One of these white jumps is going to be the Rebel Stronghold event. Man can dream. Prepare to fight. Okay. Okay. Alright, with the piloting hack here, we disable the missile launcher, so I'm in. Go. Okay, I'm going to get three more nebulas here, basically. Attempt to follow and help them. Lost. Manually search. Defense drone mark one. Bazingi, dude. Bazingi. Actually, let's, uh, let's put the hull repair drone in the hold. Defense drones very nice in some worst case scenarios. Hmm. This is a fight that I could see going really badly. Like, what if they fire triple? Uh, they fire out triple ion and our shields go fully down. We're probably dead.
Okay, well that was the big threat. Do I load up combat drone here, or do I accept the little bit of damage? I think I accept the damage in this case. May regret this. Okay, it missed. Okay, feeling better already. I got a feeling about going up here, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm also going to buy... Let's buy two hacking power bar, and now we're set up for two shields, or three shields, rather. Hell yeah, dude. You arrive at the beacon to find yourself in a huge rebel shipyard, scaffolding and construction drones filling the sector. The entire system looks devoted to ship construction. The nearby planets and moons ruthlessly mine to harvest resources for a ship of immense size. Look around. Warning lights flash as scans identify the gigantic ship under construction. It's the second rebel flagship. This must be the secret shipyards where the first one was built and you accidentally stumbled across it. Even in its weakened state, the rebel ship powers up. Get ready, you've got a hell of a fight on your hands. Alright, I'm just gonna hack the missile launcher here. Simplify my life. Alright, looks good. Wasn't quite it. Oh, shields got hit. That's not good. Okay, there we go. You can just crew kill this ship, uh, corn dog. No, no AI. Oh, dude, what a sweet weapon here. While the second flagship was not yet finished, it doesn't make the battle any less of a victory, and you crippled the rebel fleet's strength considerably. While you don't overstay your welcome, you quickly salvage choice bits of metal drones, even an unusual object or two from the wreckage, and prepare to jump. Five, 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 and heavy laser mark one. I just think these five drone parts are. 10 to 25 hull repair. Also, this right here is more effective than the chain at the moment. And they left us exactly enough scrap to buy three shields. I'm in.
pretty nasty. Okay, that's kind of how much damage we do on our first volley. No pulsar going off. We do... Five damage. So it's probably going to leave either this or this online. Maybe the heavy. Okay. Okay, they're going back here. We're going to collapse again. I mean, crew kill is not out of the question here, but I, I got to take care of their weapon system in the Pulsar first. There's no getting around that. Okay, good. They left the missile online. That's perfect. Okay, hacking went down. I was hacking... There, okay. There are teleporters down, too. Let's mind control the guy here in weapons. Uh, with a good volley, I should be able to get this done. Not much. The 89, 83... Got him. heading down here. Actually, I should go here and then over and then back up to maximize the jumps. Forward scout of the rebel fleet. I'll be. Well. They're going to be trying to run right away and they have shield overcharger and defense too. I think a drone hack is pretty good here. Didn't get it? Damn, that's tough, dude. That'll do it. Alright, now they're both in the same room. That's good for us. That's Crew Kill City, maybe. Maybe not. Okay, only one crew left. Awesome. Looks to me like they're going to be out of HP here momentarily as well. Even if not, I could do a mind control. Okay, let's do this. Got him. Let our O2 stabilize momentarily. Let's also just buy some power bars here, huh? At least one. At least one. Yo, Konsetsu, thanks so much for three months. Glad you're still enjoying the games and Zen House plays. Thanks for 39. Appreciate the happy Fragmas summer wishes. Thank you, dude. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight before this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Close. 
We're getting the maximum out of this sector, at least. There's no other way to put it. Okay, quest on the way out, which is probably a store, based on the event text. Uh, heal burst would be very rarely used. Uh, lame boy, heal, heal bomb's usually only used in the intermediary point where you don't have the clone bay online. Usually. Well, only two here. Uh, Clone Bay is usually just not a priority at all, Corn Dog. Thirty-five scraps a lot in hard mode FTL, so there's a lot of other purchases that would be better. Level one, two, and three Clone Bay all allow you to get your crew back at 100 HP. So uh, the situations where level two and level three Clone Bay are actually a functional difference are few and far between. With good crew management as well, you're usually not cloning crew, um, so the crew loss isn't isn't usually too relevant. I'm gonna hack piloting here. With that being said, though, there is definitely times where uh, purchasing. Clone Bay upgrade is the right choice. No surrender. I'm just going to use the one hacking part here. I could justify not using a hacking part because we have the whole repair drone, but we're doing very well on parts currently. And this means no missile will fire. Cool. I think I'm going to bring the chain laser in here pretty soon. Seems like a, a reasonable way to go. shield train out. I'm going to drop my engines right now to get this shield training finished. We'll only take a moment. Yeah, it really is corn dog. Uh, the flak burst laser too is just a classic combo in FTL and heavy laser is a nice complement to it. The best thing about our weapon system is it all kind of fires at once. There's no uh, there's no charge lag on it. That is the weakest part of this entire ship is the chain laser's 16 second first volley.
Ooh, my shield actually went all the way down. That was scary. Right, close enough. Shields will get there. We're not cloaking, so shield training is pretty much guaranteed. Yeah, chain's good on longer fights like the flagship. That's a very good uh, thought, corn dog. Because after the first volley, we're on the same timing as the rest of our weapons. So uh, for a longer fight, very good. Uh, most fights in FTL, the calculation is your first volley versus the enemy's first volley. And when you fire your first volley, you're usually trying to solve their weapons. Which is the only reason that chain laser lags in the early game. Um, I'm good. I need this fuel. Okay, what do we got? Oh, man. Okay, okay. Uh, well. I'm gonna sell combat drone now. I'm gonna buy flak one. I'm gonna sell chain laser as well. And then our next 90 scrap goes into weapons, and we have flak, flak, burst laser 2, heavy laser. And we are crushing stuff. All right. And look at that. There's exactly enough jumps to round out the sector. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Hey, free reactor upgrade. Thanks, guys. This is the worst possible reward from that, but it's still pretty good. Ooh, there's another store. Wow. I've won several runs with um, Burst Laser 3. It's just a very uncommon weapon because of how long it takes to charge. Okay, cloaking, missile launcher, lasers. Attack the Schlaverschgum. I think since I have cloaking, I am going to use a defense drone here. I'll just do a mind control volley. Fire and weapons, good. Hey, what's up, Sargo Shadow Drinker? Good to see you. Did they just come out of cloak? I lost track there. They did. Dolan, the fully repair trained engineer. You know what? All right, I accept. High scrap reward would sure be nice, but a fully repair trained NG? That's a good one. All right, we're on extrusive here. I think there's one event where Defense Scrambler comes into play, lame boy, but... Generally speaking, uh, enemy ships do not have augmentations. In fact, enemy ships do not have augmentations. So, it might be your drones get hacked, something like that. Okay... I'm going to do a O2 hack here. Okay. 
Alright, so now they're in there, and now we have them fight for my amusement. Let's see if the doors actually lock here. They did. Dead. Okay, adding on the fully trained or the half trained weapons mantis. He's just gonna hang out indoors. And their name will be Dr. Love Wizard. Alright, let's just mind control to soften him up here. I'm going to go up and then back down this way. Put back in. Ooh, never mind. Excuse me. I'm going to head down now. And then... Swing back up. Four... Eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. What's my other option here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We reveal four jumps on that path, a lot more than four on this path. Okay, I'm not going to get to these. Maybe I should go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's the path right now. Um, bounty. Okay, five hull damage. I'm just going to use a hull repair now, and then I'm going to buy this weapon power, and then we are singing. Keep it easy. All right, store here. Maybe I would have, uh, you know, held off purchasing had I seen that. Aid the civilian ship. All right, I'm going to use a level 202 hack here. Let's see what level 02 they have. It's fine. I can defend that. So this is also going to kill him, so there's only going to be two crew left. That's good. Missile launcher is still up. It's a little unfortunate. It's not unfortunate there's fires in here. I think I just accept one missile, because one missile is basically one hole repair drone. OK, 
Okay, now we mind control. Shields training, good. Let's just start the clone zone right now. Anti-bio beam? Okay. I'm not going to be using that, but cool, cool equipments. It also sells pretty well at this upcoming store. Great event. I'm going to use a hull repair here. Okay, I was attempting to download the data stores here. Oh, it worked? Okay. Eat. Fuel here, at least. Let's go ahead and buy these drone parts, too, while we're here. Okay. Combat 2 in this weapon system is not... not insignificant. I feel like there's no 2 kill here. I'm also gonna be buying 3 hacking here momentarily. Okay, only level 102, that's good for us. Okay, so there is a system repair drone. See that? fire there. I guess we're not getting a crew kill. Or we are. Uh, they're standing in the med bay. Okay. It was worth a try. Let's go ahead and buy three hack here, power bar. All Mantis. Okay, with all Mantis, I'm just going to load up a defense drone here. I'm not going to use a hacking part, because I can just slam their O2 repeatedly. Alright, that's where they're going. want the Manus fighting here. Oh, they went back, okay. Okay, 
fire in the O2 is very good. Oh, they got level 3 uh, med bay. Wow. Okay, that pulled them off the O2. That's good. doing the hasty getaway here so hasty getaway means that there's a weapon at the end of this quest line if i let them get away no uh, i mean maybe hack will be a consistent rate uh zealous it's a good question uh, level three med bay does not hurt them Yo, King Lysandias, thanks for 63 months. Appreciate five plus years. Thank you. Okay, I definitely don't need more drum parts here, though. Would be nice. Okay, Pirate Controlled 7. Here we go. Okay. I'll give you four fuel. Heavy laser mark two. Wow. It is definitely a weapon. Bring it aboard? Okay, that's what I thought. Flood them into this room and then I can mind control them. So I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to cut my O2, but I leave the door open. Or I turn on the O2. Oh, never mind. There, turn off the O2. Well, if I run out of fuel, I want to do so uh, further into the sector. I'm going to start heading over. Okay. Let's just counter mine control here. And what kind of strategy are we doing? Only three lasers, missile launcher. I'm going to use two parts here to get a kill. Okay, level 3 hack on a single level 02 is a guaranteed uh, kill here. Might as well. Special chip's not terribly uncommon in um, Sector 7. Not usual, but probably... 1 in 100 chips. Usually associated with the quest. Usually. Okay, I got a breach in here. It's a start. Is not happening. Five shield ship becomes a possibility inside of Sector Six.
Okay, three, six, eight. Yeah, it is uh, staunch. It's true, man. Very easy. All right, potential eight lasers here is not a joke. I'm going to go ahead and just hack piloting and hit weapons. Enemy FTL charging, you don't say. Nope. Wow, 70 scrap for that. Awesome. All right, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. I am going to head here for safety. If I do fully run out of fuel, I mean, it's likely we got to wait one jump, maybe two. Enemy FTL charging, of course. The reason the enemy FTL is charging here is because we're out of fuel. Yes, you get 10 fuel at the start of Sector 8. That's correct. Yes, Daisy, I'll be taking my lunch break momentarily, okay? I promise. I promise. You said, don't claw my leg. Don't be such a spicy kitty. That's good. Hmm. Okay, shield's back. Good. Okay, we did get some fuel back there. That's good. Laser would have been better suited into uh, piloting there. No sweat, just a note. Hey, you. What do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing? Okay. All right, then.
Ah, uh, good old Dread Pirate Tuco. What a guy. Alright, so on this one I'm going to mind control the pilot here, and then I'm going to hack piloting. And then I'm just going to unceremoniously destroy their crew. I mean, same play here. Uh, they do have a more terrifying weapon system this time, though. Hey, cheers, good Dave. Glad the uh, stream helped make your move a little bit less stressful. pilot hack. Easy. I'm just going to spin my scrap at the start of Sector 8 here. on in my drum parts. I mean, I could sell there, but no need. All right. Well, here we are in Sector 8. Our goal is to reach and defend the base before the flagship spends three turns there. Should be able to do that, no problem. Uh, before we go any further here, though, I'm almost an hour late to my lunch, and my cat is letting me know that repeatedly, so... Going to uh, stand up, stretch real quick, use the restroom, grab some water, uh, and grab a very quick snack, which is already prepared. We'll be back in just a few short moments for some more fun. Please do enjoy this kitty waiting for treats. Be back soon.
Alrighty, we have returned. Thanks for your patience during that brief one. We're back, we're fed, we're ready to go. Okay, let's spin the scrap we got on hand right now. 384. Seems like four shields would be the most natural purchase. Let's buy level 202. Level 2 mind control. Let's buy a value drone point. Let's buy value piloting. Let's purchase... Two clone bay as well. Okay. Yo, RN Grizzly, thanks so much for 58 months. Two more for that 60. Much appreciation. I'm going for an O2 hack here because I can. Weapons? Ooh, piloting. All right. Okay, level 2 piloting. Cool. Ooh, I own intruder drone. That's scary. Let's collapse on that. Okay, they do have system repair here. That's okay, though. I'm gonna go ahead and just mind control the guy in here. Okay, repair did not finish. Awesome. Okay, I'm gonna open the doors. I'm gonna go level two here. Okay, it got me on that one. Fair. They're not even trying to repair now? Okay, they kept the repair going. We're going to crew kill here. I guess we're going to see. Auctions at 45 already? Dang. Yeah. Ooh, that's actually gross. I'm going to hit weapons next. It's going to mind control the pilot. I am sure I could have uh, handled this fight better, but the Ion Intruder drone just made it increasingly complicated, as it often does. Yo, thank you all for this hype train. What's going to be choose to share your resub notifications, subscribe, use bits, or gift during this time? Got a chance some exclusive emote unlocks. Kid Cool 28, thanks for making it official with Prime. Glad you're enjoying enough to even consider that. And Squigs01, thanks for one year with Prime as well. Cheers. Let me just say a huge and sincere thank you to everybody who does subscribe and resubscribe with Prime. Big part of why we're in our 11th year here on Twitch in our sixth annual Fragmas Summer. Thank you. Okay, now this one already has three drones, so an O2 hack is making a lot more sense. They're not going to have a system repair drone here. It's like battery is coming out. Only level 102. All right, they're doomed.
Yeah, they're not making this repair. Not even close. Okay, uh, I'm gonna let them out of the room. Because that... I'll almost uh, reset the repair. Almost. Okay, didn't get the repair down. There it is. Uh... Yo, what's up, Ken? I don't think so, dude. Actually, you know what? Uh, Ken's gonna be the new rain here. Yo, Waffle Copter, thanks for 63 months. Been pretty awesome so far. Thank you. Cheesy Bob, thanks for 100 bits. And Amoeba of Doom, thanks for 35. Dennis the Lips, 16 months too. Dang. Thank you all for that support. There's probably a very valid play where I upgrade weapons and do this instead. Well, our store got overtaken before we could reach it. That'll happen. Let's just buy a power bar here. And I'm going to head up and over. All right, easy pilot hack here. I'm going to say it's been a very awesome Fragmas so far. I've been really enjoying it. Appreciate all the company and great conversation as well. Been very excellent. Looks like I'm waiting here. I'm just going to wait for my hack to be up. Simplify my life. Yo, Blaine86, thanks for making it official once again. 42 months. That's a cool number, dude. At current, we're basically where we want to be with power with having the backup battery online. I guess engine makes some sense then. Just gonna level three hack weapons and move along. Actually, hold on here. I'll kill this ship because I can. All the reason I need. I could jump here, but I'm going to accept this ASB at about a coin flip and get the little extra score here. Sitting on 22 drone parts, so... I am less concerned about that. Yo, Captain Trips, thanks for that year as well, and that lane boy throwing some bits down for the choo-choo, he says. Nice. Right to the base. Kind of wondering here if I want to do a pilot or a shield hack. Pilot hack definitely has some good utility uh, in this particular situation. can fire flak twice before they cloak. I guess we'll see.
Another decent option here would be to hack cloaking and just start slamming. Let's do that, in fact. Okay, not that one. Okay, you see us turning over here. I'm going to turn the defense drone off and let this hack through. That's why. Okay, actually, no. Uh, I'm going to go level 3 hack on piloting. I'm going to heavy laser the cloaking to start. Alright, so here. A little bit early on that. Okay, I got a breach here. That's nice. Let's mind control the guy in shields. Dead, nice. Ooh, are they dead in here? There's one dead. Okay, another two kills there, awesome. Great fight. For a piloting hack, we got a pretty awesome amount of crew kills there. Just gonna grab the uh, hull repair. Might as well tip top it. Oh, I like that Clover Constello. Thanks for those bits as well. As a reminder, while you have uh, no obligation to use them, we do have special Fragmas uh, cheer modes uploaded. If you want to see a kitty having a nice little tropical drink. Yo, Anodyne, thanks for 35 months. Appreciate those good luck wishes, and thank you all for that big generosity during the hype train. It means a lot. All right, let's go ahead and just wait here at the base. We want to wait phase two so we can jump into them phase three, leaving ourselves a safe jump back. That's important. Okay, let's defense drone here. I don't really want to... Don't really want to deal with a boarding drone at the moment. That's pretty sweet, man. Pretty sweet. Cool, only one crew left. That's ideal. I'm glad you feel that way, KSWA. Thank you, dude. Thank you. I thought it was pretty cute myself. Alright, the only one crew left. There's not going to be any borders. We just have to counter mind control. Got it. Alright, phase three. Here we go. Phase three has a four or 12 power Zoltan super shield. And every four super phase, it reloads the Zoltan super shield. There should be no reason here that we don't have them killed by the time this is down, though. Or long before it comes back up.
GG, that definitely calls for some damper time. What a great run. Smiling Shad, thanks for 16 months uh, during that victory there. All right, damper time awaits. GG. I'm gonna say this run is lower scoring than we think. I'm gonna say 55-65. 55-65 is my guess. During Dapper Time, Bunny Wild, thanks for those 1,000 bits. Really appreciate that generosity. Thank you. Alright, let's see where we're at. 5475. I had a feeling because there was no dives. The whole time, no dives. Forty ships defeated only. All right, let's pick our next ship here. Our next ship is going to be... Let's do a Rock B run. I like Rock B a lot. Uh, feel free to have some name suggestions here. I just need to take a very short break uh, and stretch out real fast. And then we will head into a Rock B run. Be back in just a moment.
All right, thank you all for your very creative suggestions here. Let's, uh, let's combine a couple here. Let's name this one the Rusty Jalapeno. So, uh, Rock B has the distinction of being the only ship in FTL that does not have doors leading out to space. But to make up for that, or doesn't have a door system, period, and no doors out to space. To make up for that, we have 600 crew HP worth of fire immunity on board, so the lack of doors is rarely an issue on Rock B. You know, it can make some pretty complicated situations. The weak point on this ship is definitely the weapons. It's very far away for the other rocks to reach. Uh, Rock B also doesn't have the best weapon system, but has a very good early game weapon system, so weapons are often something you need to get early on. Starts with the unique weapon of the ship, the Heavy Pierce 1, which pierces one shield. So essentially for Sector 1, Sector 2, you're a badass, and then you have to have something figured out by Sector 3. Let's grab some names for our crew here off of the forever name and game list. Thank you all for your support on that. We are on number... 58 right now, Grim Void. Then we have Wizmander, classic. Boopy B. And Phoenix Captain. Looking good. All right, we're off. All right, no dive here. We're going to take both uh, nebulas, though. And prepare to fight. Yikes. Alright, it's a little scary, but the fire drone doesn't actually do damage. Unless it starts fires in such a way that it does. I can do a little uh, toggle here. Heavy pierce. Missed. Okay. Okay, I think a fire started in here. No? Okay. Alright, and with that, I can just power my O2. That's true, Bin Bin, that's true. Oh, is there a bug in here, Pin Pin? Oh my god, there is a bug in here. Oh no. Oh no. Let it go, Pin Pin. It'll come back. A little bit of a weird first fight here, but not a bad one. There was really no chance at damage unless I mismanaged the um, 
And I guess if the ion slipped through and hit shields, then the fire drone could have been annoying. But it wasn't. All right, here we go. Intruders on board. All right, so they're going to the shield room. Let's just collapse here. Oh, wait, they're in sensors right now? Hold up. The two are in sensors, one's in shields. All right. What's this health at? We're fine. Got Phoenix captain's winning that fight for sure. Are you winning your fight big time? I mean, his distresses are tempting, at the same time a little bit harrowing to do. Okay, we're going to make it back to the exits from this jump. Four, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, let's just skip the, uh, skip the distress right now. Taking the distress is how I see these jumps, though. Okay, I'll take this one. This one only. And rocks in the rockin. Repair arm. Okay. So repair arm does take scrap away from you, but uh, heals the ship when you receive scrap. We're definitely going to be selling that. Oh, boy. Hey, what's going on over there? What kind of crew, though? Okay. These are going to continue firing at the same time like this. So if the uh, the laser misses, I need to toggle my shields. I'm also going to say there's really no chance for a crew kill here. It sounded like a fire. It wasn't. Let's try to hit O2 here, I guess. Interesting. If your HP is full, it does not take scrap, wolf. But overall, uh, outside some very niche situations, you're usually better off repairing your ship manually. Though in the event that you can't, or you're in Sector A, Repair Arm can be very valuable. Sometimes it just turns out in FTL you're a long way from a store, right? Okay, Cloaking, Hacking, Drone Control. Weapon Pre-Igniter, alright. Uh, we're gonna sell Repair Arm, and we're gonna sell Rock Plating. So... Hacking's always a temptation. I think I'm going to hold off for this store, though, because if I get an early uh, crew teleporter, I'll probably take it on this ship. I probably will. That and just getting a weapon that does projectiles is more valuable than getting hacking at this very moment, though hacking does solve some things. We also have zero drone parts, so uh, right now it's just a null purchase. All right, I don't think so. Rejected. Ooh. Nasty ship, dude. We're going to be taking a couple damages here. 
Hopefully not a bunch of weapons. Okay, that's O2, that's fine. The tough part here is they have an NG, so there's no firebomb killer or anything. In fact, that's going to come back online very soon here. That was a great question, Wolf. Thanks for asking that one. Appreciate it. Alright, 15 scrap a do. Just buying two shields here is perfectly fine, too. Alright. Um, probably just backup battery here. Um, that's fair, Dennis. Well, there's no doors, period, so we can't open the room. Um, there is... This room is generally safe, but I'd usually leave a breach in here, if any, as there's still a chance of pathing through here. I guess only on the way down to these, so we could have left it. But not as much of a benefit as it is on other ships, because we can't open the doors to utilize the breach. It would only stop fires in this room, if that makes sense. Okay, backup battery, level 2 shield is where we're at. It's a very good thought, though, Dennis. the civilian ship. Alright, so on this one, what kind of crew they got? Mantis Human. I want to hit this first. Hopefully. Fired at 10 seconds. That's going to be a 2 damage Artemis missile. I kind of want to swap to Firebomb here, but I think that's dangerous. Well, let's go for a crew kill here with Firebomb. Yep, two damage. Probably shouldn't be doing this, but here I am. If they get the missile launcher back online, this was a mistake. Okay. Okay, humans out of HP now. Missile launcher is not coming back online. Okay, I'm gonna do one more firebomb and then swap to heavy pierce to finish. Sweet double reward, thank you. Okay, here we go, here we go. Two lasers versus two shields. Hmm. 
You can have to use a couple of fire bombs here to get a kill. Let's grab a smidge of training, though, as we have a very clean ship to do so. Hey, Waffle Drill, what a name, what a player. Thanks for that prime sub, man. Thank you. Just grabbing a smidgen. Yo, nice, Shadex. Enjoy your coffee and the stream. Doors are not a common purchase on this ship, no. I'd say usually uh, outside of Slug B, if you're missing a subsystem, such as sensors or doors, you're not going to be buying them on hard mode. Unless it's going to be an extreme luxury. Doors is even devalued further on this ship because there's no vents out into space. So buying the door subsystem only allows you to open the doors within the ship. Which frankly isn't that helpful. Yep, hit the nail on the head there, corn dog. That's right. That's right. Okay, at least at least halfway on piloting, but if we go halfway, it's kinda like why not go the rest of the way? Pretty nice bonuses here this early. This sector turned out to be okay. It hasn't been uh, super awesome for scrap, but, uh, you know, about average. We were able to sell off rock plating and get two shields, a couple crew kills so far. We have this jump and one more, right? And one more, yep. Yeah. Only harmful, harmful if you're impatient, Greg and Balto, which has never been something I've catered to. I don't mind taking a few minutes to train. It's not like I don't have other things to think or talk about. I think doing things like speeding up your game for training or uh, stuff like that's a very slippery slope, right? Once you start doing that, what aren't you willing to do? And then how much of the burden of entertaining you are you placing on the game versus yourself? Impatience is a nasty condition. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's it, damn Rick. That's it right there. Nothing wrong with that. Certainly one way to do it. Yeah, we're at 24 now. It's going to go decently quick. We'll just finish up here. It'll just be about three minutes now. Okay, only one more jump. I guess we're just at sector one. Two shields. Uh, what else have we purchased here? We've only bought two shields. So it's actually been a rather low scrap sector. That we did get the recovery arm or repair arm and rock plating to sell. That was 65 scrap worth of resource. So we've really only got 66 scrap so far this sector. Good thing we had rock plating. How many fire bombs do I need here? I can probably get away with four fire bombs on this fight. Uh, they do overall take more hits, Muash, but every time the bubble recharges, it goes it goes up. So by dropping your engines, you can very consistently force shield training, where that's not the case with piloting or engines. So it did take a lot more technical training, but you're more likely to have shields trained than pilot and engines. Definitely takes more pips. 55 per level versus the 15 on piloting. The issue with shield training mostly is if you get the cloaking subsystem, it becomes decreasingly frequent that you're able to train shields. Also, in a lot of cases, having two shields with training is very similar to having three shields. Very similar. 
All right, we can start firebombing now. I'm going to start by firebombing the human because they have uh, less repair skill, so there's going to be a slightly longer time the fire will be active. Okay, they swap places. Interesting. Alright, they have two, four, six, eight, nine health. This is 30 per. I can do four. So, one more firebomb and I can swap to the heavy laser now. Not accept surrender. Alright, high fuel and scrap reward, awesome. I would sell drone parts if I had enough. Alright, abandoned sector or abandoned sector? Let's take abandoned sector. Attack the pirates. Okay, this ship can't hit me. And Firebomb will do the trick. Spice is going to take a minute. I think I'm going to begin by firebombing the engines here. Because there is a chance if we get a double fire, I could get a fire cascade. Uh, they do also have med bay. That makes it tricky. And we did get double fire, nice. Well, let's try this. Very real possibility of the fire making a four tile spread now. Maybe. No. Hmm. That's what I needed. Uh, they got the slug repair gel too. Well, we're probably not getting a, a kill then. That's good. Yo, welcome aboard, man. What's up, Liam the Rock? Alright, this is peripheral. Alright, let's inquire about the process. Uh, I'm gonna decline their offer here. Hacking crew teleporter drone control. I mean, I'm pretty tempted to pick up a uh, crew teleporter right now.
Yeah, I will buy crew teleporter right now. Firebomb teleporting's very cool. We also just haven't seen any weapons yet, so it's now or never. Let's attempt to harvest some for ourselves. All right, no teleporting onto this ship. No, sir. Okay, at least that's down. Now, I can't see in the sensors, though I have to imagine they're repairing in there. What? Did I just really drop my weapon? I did that. Oh, let's hit shields. That'll delay the repair. Okay, somebody left the room. Good. Investigate the debris was a double reward. Interesting. All right, let's go buy... I'm going to buy weapon power right now. Even though it puts us a little bit low, we do have backup battery. Having both heavy pierce and firebomb on at the same time is good. Well, this is going to be a three crewer that I'd really like to take weapons down on. What's the choice here? Uh, maybe I slow roll this and hit weapons, then board weapons. Let's go ahead and do that. Hey, Castle Raven, what's good, dude? Oh, there's fire in the weapons right now. That's good. Great call, Marlex here. Great call, dude. Yo, Zass. What's up, Zass? All right, we're still really weak on weapons here. Like, as soon as you run into a two shield ship, our main option is fire bombing their weapons and boarding which I wouldn't say is the best, but it is a option, which is why I picked up Crew Teleporter. Without that, we could be dead in the water in under a sector. I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Maybe exiting up here, although maybe not. Probably just one, two, three, four and no dive. I'll send an away party to investigate. All right, no double fleet pursuit. That's good. Zass becomes Carthora.
I'm gonna go here, actually. We can go one, two, and three on either of these, so we get a much wider reveal if we're not gonna be diving, which I'm pretty sure we're not. Four missiles for 21 scrap. I agree. Attack the schlever scum. That's true, Marlock's here. It has a really strong early game, though, the Rock B does. You're not wrong about the assessment on that, though. Alright, we're gonna start here. I'm gonna hit weapons, and then we will uh, roll into Clone Bay. Okay, good. That got hit. So now we can drop this for real power in our O2. And Heavy Pierce should be back online in time. I'm actually going to walk into the shield room here so it pulls him off of piloting, gives us a much better chance to hit. Good. Okay, okay. I definitely want to pick up an NG here. NG rounds out our crew composition, though Manus would be very nice for boarding. We're utilizing a fire strategy. So, no Emmy becomes Demi. No fitting. Okay, okay. Definitely hitting store right now. Okay, store. I could go one, two, three, dive, but one, two, see it is good. Okay, what have we got here? Hacking, mind control, door system. Okay, it's a weapon. It's a weapon. Okay, so we're going to pick up Burst Laser 1 uh, for sure. We're going to keep the Firebomb online, but at least now we have the possibility of having a 3 laser setup. So hitting with the Heavy Pierce is now a possibility versus 2 Shield Chips. Not, uh, not bad. We're not going to buy doors, no, Terminator. A couple of reasons we don't buy doors here, but the main one is that... It doesn't actually benefit the ship very much, because there's no doors to outside space. Okay. All right, we've got eight crew right now in Sector 2. Dang. That's spicy. Let's put the Zoltan on shields. All right, Magmar's name is... Mort1337. Sweet. Just centralize the NG here. Cool. I need some power bars and stuff, huh? So let's just buy a power bar right now so I can have my weapons and two shields on. 
Pirate Controlled or NG Homeworlds? Dang, that's a choice. Well, probably NG Homeworlds since uh, Pirate Controlled has a higher chance of getting crew and we're already maxed out on crew. All right, here's a store we're not going to make. I am very willing to take the stress beacons at eight crew with an NG and a rock. Very willing. Uh, I can beam you aboard my ship, take a nearby planet, free scrap. I'll accept your surrender. Free scrap. Must be an NG sector. Must be. Investigate the battlefield? Okay. Alright, they have defense 2. Beam drone. But they are super weak to boarding. Awesome. Now let's just start here. bomb is like a nice little tool here. Very happy to see that. Like, firebomb has the more wow factor for rock boarding, but small bomb has the disabled potential. And it's much quicker. Someone want to sell to me here? They don't, but they're going to give me free stuff. Must be an NG sector. All right, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven is, is the way. This is the way. Be a hero and attack the pirate. So this ship has medbay. No cloaking, though. There are weapon systems actually pretty good. Maybe not so much on the first volley, but subsequent volleys quite strong. Um, small bomb does look pretty good here. Their first volley is pretty inconsequential, so I'm going to try to hit weapons first, and I can board on weapons and finish with the medbay. Okay, it missed. Okay, still have one more volley available here. This doesn't work, I'm swapping to small bomb. Worked. All right, now we board the engines here. Okay, he's probably gonna get a laser back online here. Okay, let's walk into the shield room. This will stop his repair. All right, no need for a second boarding set. We got this. Uh, destroy and salvage.
I think the overall success and failure of this run is really going to be determined by this next store. Big time determined by this next door. Um... Okay, they have more than level one medbay. Good dodge, good dodge. Here it is. Okay, so they're pri prioritizing the weapon fire over defending the ship. That's interesting. Here we go. Okay. Hmm. All right, so this quest marker is the NG Homeworld quest, which I really want to finish. So I'm thinking I'm either diving here or I'm going one, two, three. Let's start by hitting the store. Start with that. Automated reloader, no weapons here, yikes. Drone control with a defense or a combat drone. I could buy drone control and use defense too. It's always cool. I think better yet though is to sell defense here and buy cloaking. And then we have a better dive potential for what we're about to do. That's got to be the play. Sell defense two, buy cloaking, buy fuel. Hey, glad you could make it, Oakless. Thank you. What's good, dude? Yeah, let's go one, two, three here and then dive. Okay, well, I mean, obviously, Manus are not a, not a jokey tier of enemy to be fighting as boarders. Let's let them board us first. Okay, they boarded right onto my boarders, so we probably get a kill on this guy. That's nice. All right, let's just remove this guy. Let's do this for now. This should be pretty easy. We're going to board shields. And then when they run to med bay, we're going to hit that instead. Got him. I need to remember to use my cloak. And that's going to be a struggle.
Ooh. Okay. Ion Blast Mark II is not not a weapon that I can't use. Like, there's definitely some potential for that to actually work into the system. I doubt it, but it's helpful if we find nothing else. Piloting subsystem for 10. All right. All right, if I'm going to be diving, I want at least three engine. Let's just take this fight and see what happens. All right. Okay, they got shield overcharger as well. That's kind of yuck yuck. Fair enough, though. I can pull the pilot off here, and I will. Get him, got him good. Okay, so this was the actual quest beacon. So one of the quest beacons in the next sector will be the NG ship unlock, and the other quest beacon will be the... The fakey bakey. All right, so now we're diving. I'm gonna buy three engines, one power bar here. Now, four engines cloak is nice. I'm just not in a position to buy that. Time to, uh, time to take our lick here. What this boils down to. I'm probably just gonna small bomb their weapons repeatedly. Seems fair. Okay, this is fine. A little bit of a dangerous system here. If I hit with this, though, it should be fine. Yeah, we're pretty good now. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000. Oh no, I just lowered my hacking. That's too bad. I did that to myself. It's still missed. I'm so lucky. So lucky. Get me out of here. Uncharted Nebula NG Control. Let's go NG Controlled here. Stores seem very valuable to me right now.
Okay, one of these quests is also a full repair. Oh man, this is a dive sector too. We're going to have to escalate here. How much for one more weapon power? 50? That's pretty expensive. Let's accept their surrender. Love when the NGs do that. Oh man. Okay, what do I have to sell? Ion Blast 2 and possibly a bomb. I should probably hit both of these stores only because if I don't get more projectiles soon, we're kind of, um, we're struggling to hit a lot of ships. Though I'd strongly prefer to not hit the stores right now. Maybe one more jump than the store. Go one, two, three down here. If there's a double fleet pursuit at this jump. It'd be very painful. There isn't. Yikes. Glad I have cloak. My control has a 20 second cooldown in between uses, so that is not possible, Syria. Cool idea, though. Would have been better off not hitting weapons here. Chain burst laser. Okay. Okay. Chain burst laser is a weapon that I can currently use. Get some stuff done. Great question, Sirion. Uh, Sirion asks, how long does it take to break down a fully upgraded door? That depends on the attack skill of your crew. Like, a Manus will break a door down faster. The door's levels have essentially an HP amount. So the time can vary based on which crew is hitting it, how many crew are hitting it, etc. Man, there's some tough choices to make right now. One, I have another store possibility right away, which could probably have a better weapon, but I should I should very likely just do this and uh, upgrade. I'm going to say with this setup here that Ion Blast 2's out. I really hesitate to drop the Firebomb 2 because we have rock borders. But the truth of the matter is that firebomb rock boarding is a strategy that you very rarely actually execute. It looks really cool when you do it because you launch a firebomb, then board with your rocks, and then the whatever room you're in burns down. But that's like a 30 to 40 second application. It's very slow. I mean, it's one of the slowest strategies out there. It's strong, but you have to have it land. We also have eight crew now, so we can just board with the second set of boarders. I'm going to drop the firebomb right now, looking to load in the small bomb to our system. Okay, it's 50 to get the small bomb on. Yep. All right, I got to buy uh, hacking here. The final slot. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm going to go to stress and then hit the store. I'm actually not going to buy any fuel here just in case there's a flak or some other comparable weapon to replace the heavy pierce with. Heavy Pierce is definitely the odd man out in this system. Yeah, okay, here we go. I'll give you two fuel, sure. 
Ooh, updated map. That's nice. Yo, Captain Cleo. Thanks for a seven with Prime. Thanks a lot. Ooh, Halberd Beam. Okay. Well, it continues to get weird in here. Man, Halberd Beam is so much better at killing the flagship than what I have right now. But it really feels like if I take this, it's gonna it's gonna set me too far behind on defense. All right, I can't do it. I can't do it. I gotta wait. I'm gonna buy the four fuel here. I'm gonna buy weapon power next, and at least we have hacking now. Board the station. Save the drone schematic. Mort's gone. That's tough. That's okay, though. Losing the power is difficult, but... I can overcome it. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and buy the weapon power now. Actually, let's go ahead and buy two power bars right now. Weapon power. I got backup battery. I'll use it. All right, I'm going to go one, two, three, exit, and maybe dive. See, if I'm going to dive here, then going one, two, exit, then here, then down here makes sense. Let's skip this jump. Yo, Akbar10, thanks for 10 months. Sorry for missing your resub there earlier, dude. My bad, my bad. Damn. How do I do this? Well, in a good note, we are under no danger of being hit. I think the small bomb is our ticket here. Do I hack? Is the real question. Yo, KG the Jerk, thanks for those 200 bits, man. Appreciate that. Hmm. I'm gonna hack drones here. I think hacking drones is the only true option. I'm also gonna get my second set of borders just ready. Gonna wait for him to go to the med bay here. Yeah, that should be the kill on him. Okay, the anti personnel drone's not currently even trying to break out because there's no spot for them to go into on this combat. Now he's gonna try to leave the room, but it's too late. Boy, that was pretty scary. I need like eight power bars right now. Yo, Choppers X77. Thanks for continuing that sub with Prime. Appreciate the 11 months. Thank you.
All right. This quest is going to be the NG Homeworld quest event, so we're going to get a full repair off of this and some decent resources. Uh, going pretty good so far, Baba. Been a pretty pretty good day for FTL. So on this ship, it doesn't matter if we get a crew kill or not. It's uh, just not important. Same reward either way. So they're going to board me, and then I'm going to board them on their shields here. I want to pull their pilot off, because these two weapons in conjunction can hit. Let's go ahead and board this too. We're going to start by hitting weapons. Or not. Wow, they got the Jukaronis for days. Wow. Okay, let's look at him going to the med bay here. There we go, you're dead. Come on back to Pound Town. All right, got some stuff. Titanium system casing, full four hole points repaired. Titanium system plating is worth 40 scrap. Ups and Victor. The Niha, thanks for 16 months too. Regular Bonanza today. Thank you all for that amazing support. Alright, let's take this jump and see if there's a store back here. Yeah, maybe I should just buy power at the moment. Two hacking would go a very long way here. I'm gonna grab two hacking and two power bars, and then I'm gonna feel a lot better about our estimations. Oh, I just realized the exit is not going to be included here, is it? Oh yeah, it is. One, two, three, four. Something like that. Alright, alright. Just a bunch of free stuff. Love it. That's exactly what NGs do. Except, okay, they gave us five drum parts. I might skip this quest in the next sector. All right, am I diving? Yes, I am. Intruder on deck. Ooh. Let's go for the bounty here. I need scrap. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, beauty. All right, this is a significant find. Now we got some options. I think I'm going to actually use the heavy pierce here as a flex option. So now we have burst or one small bomb heavy pierce or charge two burst laser or charge two small bomb. That was really something we desperately needed on this run. I think I'm going to go 4 engine, level 2 backup battery at the moment. Well, maybe I can just get away with this dive. Huh. Something to think about. I'm going to... I'm in sec sector 4 right now. Diving doesn't seem so bad. Can also just grab three hack and have three hack cloak here.
another option would be to buy weapon power instead. And then I could have charge two burst one small bomb, which does seem like a pretty safe diving setup. If chat has any insights into what they do, I'd love to hear it here because it is this is a tough situation. I kind of think the nicest of the ideas here might be just to get four engines and then just small bomb their weapons repeatedly for the dive. Like, not even worry about the lasers, just do like this. If I do this route, I cannot spend anything right now. Just use small bomb. Very unlikely I'll be able to actually hit the enemy's ship's weapons here. Yeah, let's save for three shields. Buying four engines is also valid. Okay, we're going to hack weapons to start. Start. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand. I can count. Ha ha. All right, that worked out. Man, there's some plays to make here. Okay, this quest is the turn-in of the station. I don't know about that. What I want to do is jump into this nebula and then wait for fuel, but this is really close to the start, so if we... <laughs> if this doesn't go well, it could really mess us up. I think I'm just going to take this jump instead. Alright, so this ship's going to be trying to get away because we have no... Uh, We have no fuel, so that's what they do. Dang, this is a toughie. Am I doing a drone hack here again? Probably. Let's choose a fake power on teleporter for now as well. Um, let's do double fakey bakey here. Oh, they got Ion Intruder coming in, okay. Ion Intruder on shields is not ideal. Let's see if we can destroy this. 50% chance to destroy. Well, he's dead at least. Okay, now I can get enough crew and the shields are not going to get away. 
Okay, there's only two crew left, and this one's going towards the weapons, so I can go here now. It's fine. Okay, my hack's almost back up. I can hack this uh, boarding drum, which is going to stabilize this fight. Go here and here, send the rock in. Mm. Let's just run him in here now. There we go. All right, five fuel, 43 scrap. Oh, look at that, Captain Cleo. We were on the exact same page there. Nice call on the, uh, the engine board. I think that was correct. And it worked out, so hard to argue it wasn't, huh? Pretty intense Rock B run. I find Rock B runs go usually a couple ways. Either it's a complete slaughter for the enemies because you get a lot of weapons and stuff from getting crew kills early, or you have to patch together some sort of uh, weird offense, and that's what's happening right now. I don't want to go back now for these. I think I will. I think I will. Um... Such a weird spot for a run to be in. Maybe I'll just go three hacking here. If I get three hacking and a couple power bars, then uh, in the worst case scenario, I can hack weapons on a ship and still get away before they can fire most of the time. Yeah, it's a brutal choice right now. Buying three shields seems fine, too. Hard to argue against three shields. Also, what if I see a store very soon? Am I going to regret uh, making this purchase? No. Now, our weapon setup's good enough that I'm not going to have a huge regret. Maybe a small regret in a store, but not a, not a, oh man, that's going to, I can't get the thing I need to win now. Because this right here is good enough. All right, I'm going to buy three shields and a power bar here. I think I'm going to buy level two backup battery next, then I can figure it out from there. I'm also going to go backwards for these nebulas now. Hell yeah, station time. All right, that's a little scary. Yeah, buying shields is an almost never purchase on this ship. Because there's no doors to outside space, so the effectiveness of doors is diminished. 
even if you have doors, they're not doing what they normally do on other ships. So it'd be an unlikely circumstance. Okay, now that that's down, let's swap to this right here. Hey, Bop of Luck, thanks for two months. Appreciate that continuation very much. Thanks a lot. All right, let's just go here. That's right, Greg. Well, they got a manually opening store. There's probably like a hand crank next to the door at every single station. I was going to do backup battery. I want the stable power right now, though. All right, intruders on board and the shields even. Okay, I do have six bars of shields. Let's roll over here real fast. Going to walk them in. Going to put them here. There go. Okay, this guy did get double hit several times. I think teleporter is the answer for how they get put on board. Also, no doors out to space doesn't mean there's not a, an access port, right? Just means there's not a official airlock on the ship. Lots of possibilities. All right, now we're going to try to put some distance between uh, me and the fleet since we're down to three fuel. Hopefully finding a store on the way. Intervene and defend the outpost. Refueling outpost. Hell yeah, dude. Actually, let's go ahead and do this here. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, this is more damage out potential. All right, I'm gonna cloak that. Do I want to hack? You know, I probably do. Six damage to weapons fully disables here. I think that's uh, as good as it's gonna get. Nice. Okay, that was an Artemis missile. No auto fire.
Alright, 22 and 32? Hell yeah. Alright, I like that. Okay, these are dead ends, but I'm going to take this jump just to see what they are. How much for weapons here? 75 for weapons. 75 for weapons will give me small bomb, heavy, pierce, charge, two. I think that's a yep. Let's wait for a store, though. One time. All right, here we go. Easy board kill here. I'm going to try not to using a hacking party here. Okay, I'm going to move this party to shields real quick, so there's nobody I'm piloting. There we go. Much rather use a missile than a drone part. Looking great. Ooh, -hoo, the halberd beam returneth. Very nice. All right, now our in-game weapon setup is sorted out. All right, how many jumps do I have until the exit here? One, two, three, four, five, six and a half. I only have two fuel. So one, two, three, this is four, this is five, this is six. Uh, so if I go here and here, I only have one jump. Where Fleet Pursuit's not overtaking us? That's scary. Maybe I'll go 1 2. That would leave us two full jumps instead. Or 1 2, rather. Yeah, that's going to be the play right there. I don't mind running out of fuel, it's just not my preference. Also, with this particular setup now, I'm going to buy the weapon power because now I can have Halberd Beam. Uh, burst laser, small bomb, or I can have charge two burst laser, small bomb. I can also have charge two halberd beam, but that's not as effective in most cases. This with a level two shield hack is going to shred some stuff. And fighting a ship that's running away from us is less concerning now because the halberd beam at worst can hit four rooms on most ships, uh, causing an issue for them trying to run away. All right, let's be a good distress. Board to investigate. Grim Void is gone. That's tough. That was our pilot. Alright, new pilot. Store. Okay. Well, we're gonna hit the store. Okay, I think I'm gonna do a little cheeky play here. I'm gonna wait at the store instead of buying fuel. Can make up one jump this way. Where is the exit beacon? It's this one. Okay, no need then um, to wait here. Let's go ahead and sell off the heavy pierce is done. Titanium system casing is done. Am I going to find a use for the chain laser? Honestly, probably not. Probably not. This is a possible 8 power weapon setup, but I'm nowhere near 8 power to weapons. And this is very flexible at the moment. I can win with either Burst Laser Halberd Small Bomb or Charge 2 Burst Laser Small Bomb uh, in the late game. Can even swap to Charge 2 once the shields are down. Let's just sell this right now. Let's purchase the three fuel. That's all. Yikes. And with 118 scrap, let's buy level two backup battery to begin. Okay. I'm also just going to snap up uh, rehacking here. Rehacking is amazing in worst case scenarios. Sell 15 missiles for 45 scrap. Sign me up. Okay, now the trick is we're going to go here and run out of fuel inside the nebula. If we're going to run out.
Yo, Blue Savior, thanks for 34 months. Thank you, man. Thank you. All right, so this is the ship that has the uncontained O2 room. I'm not going for an O2 kill here, though. We're just going to go for a disable on their weapons. Let's just board here for now. Dunkin' and Dunkin'. Flamin' and Jamin'. Okay, we did end up getting fuel, and there's a store. Alright, so I'm gonna go one, two, three, and then dive to the quest. They're scraping us by on fuel here. Intruders on board. Let's move over here for now. potentially gives out drum parts, but it doesn't necessarily have to. There's a really diverse pool of rewards for this particular quest. But yes, giving up our drone parts is one of the possibilities. But we may just give up the the parts for like 60 scrap too, so I think it's worth the risk. Yoinks, dude. Alright, they got a Vulcan going on here. Bean. Let them board first. I want to see where they board at. They boarded into sensors. It's a little annoying. All good, though. Uh, let's go ahead and back up battery now. I'm going to board their, say, shield room. Should pull the pilot off. Yes, so it's only a four crew ship. Do it. Okay, fire started. Let's just go in the shield room then so they don't try to defend it. Might get out of this without a small bomb. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Heavy laser mark two. Whoa. The big dogs just keep on coming. Crazy weapons this run. None of them really working together very well, but uh, great weapons nonetheless.
Definitely possible, Crowley. We'll find somewhere in the crawl space to put the heavy laser to. Well, I'm not convinced that at the end of this I won't be using Burst 1, Charge 2, Heavy Laser 2. Let's see what the store has to say about that. Mmm. Mm-mm. The thing with Flak Cannon here is that... <laughs> ...is good. But is it 65 scrap good since we already have all these weapons? One thing I should probably commit to at this store is I'm not going to be keeping three... three power weapons. One of these has to go away. What sector are we in? Only five, all right. All right, I'm going to buy the six fuel before I forget. Three projectile weapons are less reliant on hacking parts than halberd beam, so I think halberd beam is the one I sell here. Well, I'm a big fan of halberd overall for what it can do. Right now, Flak Heavy Laser 2 is pretty sick. The more I look at this, the more I think Charge 2 is kind of the odd man out. Because Charge 2 never really reaches the potential where you're firing the maximum amount of projectiles. So, essentially, the Heavy Laser 2 is a more efficient version of the Charge 2. Okay, how much is it to get weapon power right now? 90? That would allow for Flak, Burst Laser, Heavy Laser 2, which I think is the winner. It's definitely the most efficient at disabling a single system, which is what I value the most. Okay, I'm going to sell Halber Beam and Charge 2 and pick up Flak. This is probably not correct, but when it's all said and done, this weapon system right here is an absolute devastator. We still have room to grow by bringing this small bomb on line two. That's my choice. So now we have seven projectiles for nine damage on a very fast timer. That's good. Yeah, it's an interesting idea to replace the small bomb. Um, for Gator, I just have a really hard time replacing Small Bomb in most compositions because uh, Small Bomb, when you need it, it's always there for you. Let's put it that way. Okay, I'm going to remain silent but power up my weapons. There it is. They gave us 4 fuel and 60 scrap for 5 drone parts. Hell yeah. 
as a fun little note, um, if you refuse to give over the drone parts and you're in Sector 1, Sector 2, you can still get this 50 to 60 scrap reward um, off of that specific beacon. Unbelievable. Papa Nee, thanks for 29 months. Teru, thanks for 37. And the relaxed one, Tier 3, 114 months. Hope you're having a great day as well, relaxed one. Thanks for nine and a half years of support. Thank you, dude. I need power bars badly. All right, danger ASB. I feel like I can probably kill this ship, actually. Let's see where they board at, it's annoying. Oh, they broke it? That's tough. Two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand. Oh no, my power is going to break before the ASB goes off, or not? Turns out I know nothing. Rebel Stronghold, Slug Home, Nebula. Let's go Rebel Stronghold. Yo, Trinan, thanks for 43 months. So a couple more for four years. Appreciate you, Trinan. Appreciate you. The downside to Rebel Stronghold is there's probably only one store here. The upside is there's that potential for that Rebel... Um, second Rebel flagship event, which is very powerful. I almost feel like this bottom path is making a lot more sense. Yo, my pleasure, Trinan. Hard to believe we're in 2,804 shows today. It's been a ride. Yeah, I'm gonna go down here first. By one, two, three, and then head back this way and over. Uh, what's going on in there, though? All right, anti-personnel again. This is probably, uh... Probably worth hacking, piloting, and not going for a... Like, a standardized kill. Just because we're on a Pulsar, I don't really want to go for the um, crew kill with boarding. Let's try to get without using a part. Two damage to the weapons disables this, and we don't lose all of our shields on the first pulsar. That'll do it. Okay, now the rock's boarding onto the weapons, though. That makes some sense.
Okay, beam drone going down is what I wanted. Alright, bit of an unexpected crew kill. We got there. Very true, Archmage Thrawn, very true. Back up to 105. Just buying a power bar or three right now makes some sense. Getting the weapons online also makes sense. Let's just wait. Intruders on board. Okay. We know where they're going. Should have no problem taking out weapons here. I don't think I'm getting a crew kill on this ship unless like a double fire starts again. That'll do it. Let's see what's up here. Okay, they have system repair drones, so fire just not that helpful. Eight missiles, huh? Nah. Yo, Da Steppenwolf, thanks for 22 months of lurk. Admiral Johnson, 86 months. Happy Fragmas, man. Thank you. My gut's telling me to wait for a store, but the more I'm thinking about it, what am I actually waiting for to store here? I don't know. Maybe Heavy Laser 1 would be the ultimate end to this system? Okay. I'll reject his offer, dude. Okay, next, I'm going to do a pilot hack on this one. Or engine hack, rather. Just go down here. Alright, so Flak is stripping the shields. Heavy laser is disabling the missile launcher. And laser is going to disable... Ooh, it's still fired. Wow. Okay. There's a couple crew dead. What's going on over there? Stuff. Oh, that's a that's a t tough situation, man. I don't say so myself. Ooh. 
It's a nice offer, especially at our current fuel count, but the scrap isn't right. Not even close. Baloney! Johnny Baloney loves baloney sandwiches. I like this guy. Alright, well, it's Baloney's name now. Number 68 carat. I've definitely achieved quad breach, yeah. It's not common, but it's possible. Yo, Arter Beach, thanks for 11 months, and Crab Lord, thanks for 50. Half century. My dude. Boom, boom, boom. No store, okay. Okay. I kind of think I'm going up here. Yeah. That's what's happening. Storage cash for military goods. Sign me up. Sign me up. Burst laser mark one, cool weapon. So quad breach usually happens when you have this particular weapon, penalty, the heavy laser two, because the heavy laser has a 30% chance to cause a breach per firing. So it's the most common. Um, sometimes the breach one can do that too. No, certainly if you're going to get four breaches in a single room, it usually doesn't happen on purpose. It's a series of lucky happenings. Oh, sweet. Let's just drop our shield here real quick. In fact, let's move the human to shields. What's the deal with Carthora here? Yeah, all right. I just want to see the next jump before I decide what I'm doing. No store, okay. Exactly, Penalty. Uh, the ship would often die before four breaches is even possible. You got it. Well, uh, well thought out.
Boom. All right, 40. There's the store I was hunting down. So I'm going to go one, two, two and a half. Exit, dive, and back. Hey, great question. Uh, Chonker3000, cool name, bro. Um, the reason we repair to 23 is there is a multitude of events in FTL that will repair you from 5 to 15 hull majority repair you for five so i always leave that little bit of empty hole buffer to maximize the value of those events because each time that happens we're gaining you know 15 to 20 scrap for having not repaired at the store hope that makes sense okay we're definitely gonna sell small bomb now we're gonna buy heavy laser we're gonna buy all seven fuel uh, we're gonna buy weapon power right now and a power bar bam I used to repair to only 20, and uh, I've seen other FTL streamers that are well, better players than me, to be frank, uh, also repair to 20. But I found that 23 was my magic number, where um, sometimes I leave a repair hanging a bit, but I also don't get into too much trouble at 23. Okay, Power Bar City, here we go. Results may vary, of course. Yo, Patsy126, thanks for 65 months. Thank you. I say it's probably a good policy, regardless, to leave at least five hull hanging on your repairs. Okay, we have a safe dive for a hacking part here, so I am going to go down here. We diving. This seems like a, like a no-hack. I could probably get a crew kill here, but I'm just gonna chill. Well, by chill, I mean absolutely devastate them with my large weapons. Gonna do it the easy way, that's all. Ooh, anti-ship beam drone. I mean, they're essentially offering uh, 56 scrap here. I'll take that. All right, engine hack, and we probably get a kill here. How much damage do I got to do? Seven? So everything goes in weapons on this first volley. Didn't quite get there, yikes. Three, one thousand, four, one thousand. Yeah, I'm jumping. So if we would have timed that a little bit differently, we could have got the uh, the kill there too. But only one fuel is a reward. Nothing really left behind, just a little score at the end of the run. Saving for four shields seems like what I want to do next. Intruders on board. It's going to be Manus Intruders too, dang. Let's go here. Oh, okay. I need to forfeit my... Uh, sensors here. Never mind, they went shields instead. Okay, this is a very, very scary situation.
If I could take my hack back, I would hack the teleporter instead. So this one's winning, this one's winning too. These two are not. Uh, let's take the lower of the health two out right now. Okay, they teleported back. That's good. <laughs> they did. Great rain. They did. More like a scissor, uh, scissor team six. Saving for shields. Stiff dough and scrap. All right. Three, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, five and a half, six, seven and a half. This is eight right here. Okay, so seven and a half actually, if we include all three nebulas, we get us back here into the exit in time. Or we can include the exit in our pathing here. Let's try that. One, one and a half, two and a half, three, four, five, five and a half, six and a half, seven and a half, eight. I think just making this the end beacon makes the most sense. So if we do that, I got three, six, nine jumps before the before this one. So I can go one, two, three, four, five, six, this is seven. Six will not work there. Let's try this again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, dive, dive. All right. Here we go. That's a pretty good deal. We're attacking the Schlavish gum, though. It's an easy crew kill. Easiest crew kill there is in the game. The two two person vessel in Sector Seven. Gonna roll the shields here. Hey, that's nice. Got a fully trained shield, Zoltan. Beauty, dude. Like these guys. All right, name here. Atho one, that's the one.
Okay. Other than the missile launcher, this ship is very tame. This is also not a ship I'm going to board, because every Zoltan that dies over there is going to do 15 crew-wide damage. Or room-wide damage to every crew in the room. And that's a problem. Hell yeah. Shield charge booster. No store, huh? Can we have enough for these shields now? Let's go. Four shields is wrong here. I don't want to be right. Hail them. Six fuel for one drone part. Actually, yes. Right now. It's enough fuel to guarantee we get out of here safely. All right, no cloaking. That's good. Uh, definitely going to use a part here. I don't like their weapons. They caught some nasty deep space dementia. Uh oh. Got some spicy lads over here. Watch out. All right, let's go ahead and board into the uh, shield room here. I'm just gonna pepper the heck out of the med bay when they go over there. Okay, fine. I feel like I've seen some pretty rare text pop-ups on this last set of runs, or maybe I'm just paying more attention. I don't know. Quite a few events I haven't seen in a while, that's for sure. They were not kidding when they said it was going to be a Zoltan sector. Dang. Okay, so I guess possible this ship hits me, but it's really unlikely. I think I'm going to go for an O2 hack here. Let's go. Okay, ion bomb to our hacking. Was that our hacking? Yes. Uh, I didn't see what level O2 they had before that popped up. Oh, they're really difficult ship to board here. <laughs> it's like they know. I'm gonna wait, man. I'm gonna wait. I'm going to cloak the next one. Level 2 oxygen, and it's overcharged. Okay. Okay. 
All right, then. Okay, and we got the breach there. That's done. Is over. All we gotta do now is wait and then hit the clone bay at the correct time. be a store in this back corner. Very likely. More than a coin flip, I think. Okay, the Great Eye didn't take our crew away from us. That's surprising. Well, as you can see, this is not a... not a jokey vessel. It's been a long time since I got the ship fight off the Great Eye event, too. Long time. Oh, snap. Hit through my cloaking. It's true. That's right, not a spider. Well said. 83, uh, 87 to miss is still 13 to hit. Truer words have never been said. Why is this run doing so well on scrap? I mean, we have found quite a bit of stuff, but I've also bought a lot of stuff. Has it really been that good of a run for scrap rewards? Maybe. Yo, Thurmburglar, what a name, what a player. Thanks for those 300 bits, man. Appreciate that a lot. Yeah, the crew kills, I feel, haven't really dropped that much stuff. Like, so when I'm looking at score, for thinking about score for the end of the run, I look at how upgraded the ship is versus how much stuff we've gotten. I can list off a few things we received for free on this run. We got Ion 2, Burst Laser 1. Uh, what else did we find? Heavy Laser 2. Okay, Halberd Beam. Uh, the list is getting pretty big. Small Bomb was free. Even then, being at 8 engines, 4 shields, 8 weapons seems... It seems pretty high for what we've done. Yep, there's been some drones too. Double beam drone. Uh, what else? Go two cloak here. I think we can steal their crew. Alright, even if they make it back to their ship, they're obviously not repairing weapons, so I'm going to board them here in a moment.
No. Did have repair arm drop for free too, which I sold. Yeah, probably about 250 scrap worth of free stuff. Grizzoli, what's happening, dude? Uh, Grizzoli's gonna be the new Carthora. Little slug pilot action, love it. I will gladly even take a drop in evasion to have a pilot that cannot be mind controlled going into the flagship fight. Okay. All right, double dive into sector eight. It's happening. All right, so this fight, no anti ship battery. Let's just devastate their weapons and go from there. Ooh, I'm down to four parts right now? Oh, man. That's something. Maybe on the next fight I'm not going to hack. I missed that. Thank you for choosing to fight in the medbay. It's our first medbay fighter this run. Appreciate that guy. Triple Missile Launcher? Okay. Alrighty then. I'm just gonna jump from this one. No questions asked. To the last stand. Okay, we got an immediate repair station. That makes me feel a lot better, because now we have nine drone parts instead of four. Yo, Rally, glad you're enjoying the FTL streams. Thanks for sharing those bits, dude. Appreciate that. 
Thank you all for all the ways you all choose to support this content. I literally could not be here without you. Appreciate you all very much. Yo, Gaxter, thanks for 98. So close indeed. Two more for that hundo. All is well on my end, Gaxter. Thank you for asking. take one more jump here. I mean... Combat 2 and that many ions is not a joke. That'll do it. Okay, so now I am going to use just a moment here to get Carthora trained, and this isn't going to take long at all because we have 46% chance to dodge. This will be infinitely faster than our previous training session. Oh, I think I'm the lucky one, Great Rain. I'm the lucky one. Okay. Combat 2 is such a great training opportunity in Sector 8 even? Wow. I'm going to go for the uh, weapons hack on phase one, especially since I have the crew teleporter to take down the ion. A store down here? This is I'm gonna check the store. I mean Does this put us out a little bit? But even if we get weapon hacked here, we're fine. Yeah. Let's sell these off. Uh, let's buy... I'm gonna say reverse ion field, but even that doesn't make sense, because the ion falls off after phase one. Stealth weapons is semi-tempting too, but again, it doesn't function very well in the flagship fight. This is much better on fights before the flagship. Well, I guess we're just going to buy uh, eight engines here, and we'll buy sensors. Flagship fight awaits a little bit at mercy of a good hack here. Or not a terrible hack. Hopefully not weapons hack, is what I'm going to say right now. Piloting hack, not the best. Definitely not the worst. Alright, so I'm going to hack their weapons. I'm going to board their ion. 
I am going to cloak their first volley. And then as soon as our cloak breaks, I'm going to start my level 3 hack, which delays us for 10 seconds. Essentially what this does is allows our cloaking to be back up by the time they fire the missiles again. Okay, let's get our crew back. Cool, dying animations fully finished. That was awesome. Phase two, we want to fight at the base, so we're just going to wait here. Me wait. So on phase three, we want to leave ourselves a safe jump back, which is going to be the base only. So we want to jump into them phase three. Whether you're a very experienced or brand new FTL player, that's a good thing to do when you reach the flagship fight is to fight it at the base phase two and then jump into it phase three. So you at least have the, uh, the hope of abandoning if you need to. On this one, I'm going shield hack. All right, level 202's on. We'll fight that. Starting our cloak now. That went pretty good. Yep, it's the only one Archmage Thrawn that does not have the uh, any door system or venting doors. But you start with four rocks, so the downside to that is uh, basically negated from the start. All right, phase three beginneth. Okay, engines being mind controlled is not so bad. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cloak this, and then I'm going to just jump back to the base, because we're going to steal their crew on the way. Great. Okay, so now we jump back to the base with their crew on board. This only works for phase three, but these crew are not going to respawn now. So we only have to deal with the mind control and the one crew on the uh, enemy ship.
Yep, rocks do have a natural fire immunity in FTL. Very helpful. All right, here we go. This is it. Okay, shield guy got mind controlled. Fine. The NG and the human will take turns here. Okay, right as these are passing over, I'm going to fire my other weapons. I want to break my cloak immediately. Uh, this way... Okay, that's broken now. Good. Sorry, this way... Um, my cloak will be back up by the time the super phase goes off again. Dude, the amount of fires they started on this is nuts. G G. Yo, you're giddy. Thanks for 68 months and that prime continuation. 68 streak too. Dang. That definitely calls for some dapper time. Great run. G, G, dude. G, G. That was sick. Enjoyed that one. I'm not sure on the score here. I think we're mid 6,000s, but the matter, it's a matter if we're over 6,500 or not. I don't think so. I think it's going to be 6,250 is my guess. 6,250. All right, a few more seconds here for guesses. 5712. That's lower than I thought. Let's find out why that's lower than we thought. Because only 41 ships defeated is why. A hey, new crew hired record. Cool. Yeah, great amount of beacons, good amount of scrap collected, but low amount of ship fights. Um, tanked our score a bit. 
Let's see where the uh, our stance are at. Well, so far, we're 8 for 8. Not playing for win percentage, but that feels nice. Let's figure out what ship we're going to play next. So that run's probably not happening right now. Okay, so we've completed the slug now. That's done. Uh, we got Manus A, Manus B, did Rock B here. Um, these little pips are the ship types, so we know we got NG8 on there. Let's do uh, NGB next, which is definitely one of the more challenging vessels in FTL, especially if it does not get uh, some early weapon escalation. As you start with only one crew and pretty weak weapons. Hey, Mordrew77, thanks for those two months. Appreciate you keeping it dapper, dude. Thank you. Yeah, 20 seconds of dawn looks pretty good, Mordrew. I think I'm going to wait for some more dev time on it, like I did with Vampire Survivors, but it's a very cool concept. Very cool. All right, everybody, this stream is not done quite yet. We got one more stop. That's going to be the Spelunky 2 Daily First Look, which just reset a moment ago. Well, about a half hour ago. Give me just a moment here to swap my capture and the title, and we'll be into it. Also going to be doing our prediction for the daily run. We usually only do predictions for uh, dailies for the most part. All right, uh, what's next? Let's get into the mine shaft, then we'll set up the prediction. Then a very short break for me, and we'll be into it. The daily makes you want to do Volcana. All right, Zealousy, that could be true. What made it a Volcana daily for you, Zealousy? Yo, Binifon, thanks for 48 months. So glad you feel that way, man. Thanks for four years. Thanks for always being a wonderful part of the channel and community as well, Binifon. You rock. All right, got Penguin in hand, guys. Penguin in hand. Glove cape jump boot. That is a volcano run. Dang. All right, I'm setting up the prediction right now. Uh, the prediction is, will this run make it to Cosmic Ocean? If you haven't seen Spelunky 2, that's all the way making it through seven worlds with four levels each, not including Olmec, uh, completing the main quest line, uh, combining the bow and the arrow, defeating the final boss, and then going to the secret world Cosmic Ocean. So it's a heck of a run. Um, I'd say I make it there about half the time. So good luck everybody that does want to wager here. 57.25, I think, Oakless. 10 minutes on this prediction. Uh, while this prediction's running, after that uh, double FTL run there, uh, I am just going to stand up, stretch my legs real quick, use the restroom, grab some water. Encourage you to do the same. We'll be back in uh, about five or so, I would say, uh, to kick off the Spelunky 2 daily first look. Please do enjoy nothing. No cats. Don't enjoy this break at all, everybody. Uh, I'm going to go find a cat for you guys. We'll be back in just a minute uh, for the Spelunky 2 Daily First Look.
All right, we have returned. Thanks for your patience during that brief intermission. There is still two and a half minutes left to get your prediction in, whether we make it to Cosmic Ocean if you want to. Now time for some critter-related festivities and the Spelunky 2 Daily. Here we go. I need a sip of water here. Oh, speaking of good cat clips, check out this one. This one's good. <laughs> this one's great. I watched this one last night on the TV. Great, great clip. Penny's the best. All right, penguin into the hole. Okay, we're going to take this dung beetle. We're going to throw it up the shaft right now. There it is. Okay, to the chair. Nice. Okay, get over here, Cricket. You're being, you're being all wily, bud. All right, here we go. My man. Jay didn't even need the warm-up. Hell yeah. Yo, Anxiety Plus, thanks for 79 months. Thank you. All right, Spelunky 2 Daily begins right now. Archmage Thrawn says, good luck, Frag. Sounds like something a believer would say. Just saying. Thanks, man. Um, what? Let's do this. This is funky. It's already weird. Okay, wasn't expecting to get hit there. Oh yeah, Penny does that arm thing all the time. It's like her jam. Almost every time she gets up from a nap, she does that. Glad she finally did it on stream, though. That was nice. Oh, me puppers! I can't even get the puppers without using a rope. Two ropes, even. Or a rope and a bomb. That is brutal. I lost me puppers. Yo, Sensor Pixel, thanks for 57 months. Thank you all for that support in the high train. Thurnburglar with the 300 bits as well. Thanks, everybody. Thank you all the time, and I can't thank you enough for this continued opportunity to be here, entertain you, have these streams, 2,804 as of today, and our 6th annual Fragmas, could be 8th annual Winter Fragmas this year. What a dream. Uh-oh. There's no getting around that. The placement, he was gonna get hit. There's those gloves. There's one cool turkey guy right here. Oh, there's a drop through. That's interesting. Okay, arrow's already gone off. I can see it. All right, Yang. Tell me, tell me this was worth it, bud. One moment. I'm just gonna turn this in because I think I'm gonna forget. Also wanna go back and grab those glasses. Boy howdy. Turkey Town was a bust. All right, here we go.
And I feel like this daily is screaming go volcano. So I'm gonna I'm gonna run this one to black market, I think. It's okay on money. I have a feeling most people will go volcano on this one. Just having the early gloves and glasses, big time helpful. Alright, I cleared this level in a very inefficient way, but we got the job done in under three minutes. Hey, what's good, Elusive? Glad you could make it. What's in here? Okay... I'm gonna do this. Look at the value right there. Oh, it's not down here. Okay, I see that then. Does that mean that there's a store on this side? No, it's just a regular cubby. Oh, that's a weird one. Here's our key. I can procure that statue. You better believe it. Interesting. Okay, this does not lock me out of getting the key there either. Beautiful. Almost forgot about the key there. Torch is the one left behind here. Something about this level, I'm really enjoying it. All right, do I think I'm gonna spend more than 50K at the black market. I'm just gonna go ahead and say yes. I'm gonna buy the pitcher's mitt, even though we already have it, to get that big spender bonus. 10% discount from future stores. 50K before the black market is a stretch, but it's well within the realm of possibility. You have a nice life back there, Mole, all right? Just do do the Mole stuff. Ha ha ha, Zealousy. That's going beyond value and into greed, my friend. Good idea, though. My cat lives here now. No, but this way instead. One more time, please. And again. And once more. Sounded good? It's not. Man, I've been really messing up this, uh... This quill back lately. Ruth.
Okay, my rock's gone now. Got him. That was the squishy dead noise. This thing has been a long time since I've killed Quillback with a rock. There it is. Okay, cool. I can use this to my advantage. Two twenty-four. It's gonna be cutting it close. We got this, though. I believe. <laughs> Ten seconds. Let's go. On the button. On the button. Excuse me, Sarah, can I borrow your bud? Thank you. That's tough, dude. I don't know about that. I'm gonna think about it. Look at the spider location. Holy ma, dude. Okay, I have pitcher's mitt, so I can do this. There we go. Definitely using a rope on this one. Alright, the way is cleared now. It's gonna be a tight level. Me turkeys. So that was like pretty brutal for inputs. I'm enjoying it. Where was the damsel? Do you think this guy under this tree has any freaking idea what's going on right now? I don't. My man, there's a giant spoods right there. My man. I have paste. Alright, I'm gonna let the ghosty ghost come in from this side. Good. Okay, that's where it's coming from. Me and my cursed pepperonis are out of here. Give me that juicy cup, and I'm out of here.
been a very spicy but very cool jungle so far. I'm hoping for a, a good black market. A real winner. Alright, not bad. I basically broke even on that. There's a shrine I'll be back. Okay. Present, huh? Let's check for shrine real quick. I'm gonna buy this and this. Listen here, bud. It's definitely going to be easier to turn in. Alright, no shrine. Well, I'm a sucker for a good present here. For all the other daily goers, what do we got? We got a Matic. Okay, I got some minutes here too. Let's go ahead and cash out this Matic. There wasn't any significant value inside of the challenge area, or I'd go back there. There's puppers, though. Check out the bottom rung. Sapphire right there. Good enough for me, dude. Going back for the bow and getting out of here. All right. Hmm. You know what? I'm good. That's greedy enough. Let's get Little spoopy. This section too, dang. Okay. Okay. Now they're synced up weird. Okay, next step. Just a little tricky. Alrighty then. You know what? I only got four bombs, and I'm going to use one of them right here. Yeah. 
This is a biggie boy jungle, no doubt about it. This is less experience me dead a million times. All right, two four jungle or uh, black market's nice. Spicy boy. Yo, Sarissian, thanks for almost 70 months of support. Much appreciation. Lost deuce dropping 110. 109 plus 1 is 110. Well deduced. Tiffiana West, thanks for 43 months. Thanks for that sub earlier. Thanks everybody for being here to share this time and place one more time. Here we go again. Alima. Oh man, I can set up something pretty cool here. Won't be worth the most sacrifice points, but I want it. Yikes, dude. How am I supposed to get in there? Huh? Okay, that's how. Gotta be hyper wary on those. All right, man. Where is my black market entrance now? I hear the blip. Okay, I'm at 137. It's gotta be down here somewhere. Okay, I'm gonna bomb in here and hopefully we can see see something. There it is, okay. Huh? Basically right where the skull block is. Almost 100k, one bomb, and quite a few dreams. Let's see what happens here. All right, this is looking pretty good. I'll take those. Okay, present here. What is it? Machete. All right. Sweaty guy. No thanks. And boomerang. All right, so presents are a bust. Oh, decent amount of bombs. I'm gonna buy yellow cape and Hadji and get out of here. That was pretty scary, dude. Pretty scary. <laughs> All right, Jay. Let's get out of here, man. What a jungle. That was uh, definitely one of the spiciest jungles in recent memory that I've played. This is definitely an Olmec in the hole type moment. Hmm. 
very adequate resource and equipment here. Alright, nice, clean, well-blasted hole by Jay here. Nice work, dude. And Omex, oh, this is going to be a three-stage affair. I don't think so, bud. One step, one step only. You get over here, you go into the hole. I do want to collect as much money as I can on the way up, because gambling at Madam Tusk is going to be... going to be fine, but it could be close. Uh, you can knock El Tico because he has to initiate a slam down uh, animation in order to actually break the blocks. So not breaking the last set there would actually put you in a pretty weird position. You might be able to hang on the wall and then have him uh, drop down and then go to the middle area and then fall through, if that makes sense. Like you could activate him by hanging on the wall. That sounds incredibly dangerous to save one bomb, though. Not even a real dead guy. A sham up there, sir. Yeah, so you could have uh, Omek do his last one here and then fall like this, and then he would go down the hole and slam the last uh, set of bricks. Thanks for your question. I never even thought about that being possible. Not going to be doing that right now here on the daily, that's for sure. Interesting. Usually this is on the lower portion, from what I've seen. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's see what's over here. Okay, there is an item. Okay. Ton has bombs in there. I remember ever seeing Tun and Madam Tuss spawn on the same level, but okay. Did he just leave that guy out here as like a warning? What does it mean, man? Did he throw the same die twice? I bet he did. What a sucker. Alright, 12 bombs, sweet. The amount of times I've thrown the same dice twice, very high. Happened a lot. Whoa there, bud. Why 
what is this? Oh god, no. Jang Shi jumping into you as you're jumping over spikes. Classic Spelunky death. That was close. And we're off. Okay, 25k to enter the challenge area. We're definitely covered. Greetings, giant crab guy. Awesome, he was full of tiny crabs. My favorite. Is there a shrine somewhere on this level? It's looking like no. I think that's a big nope on a shrine. I'm gonna do one more little check here, though. Oh, yeah. No shrine. Approximately buff me. Approximately. Oh, it didn't get the bat? That's pretty rude. But the bank is open, don't you worry. I'm just gonna collect these nuggets now. Easy money. A leprechaun down there, man. It ain't right. Nobody said anything about underwater leprechauns. pack. I'm good right now. Gonna go with Old Faithful here. Yellow cape. Alright, take a nap, sweaty man. Okay, here's a spot I can get the helping hand stuck. Let's go. Let's clean this up real quick. Wake up. go. Oh, that was really close. I was out of control even. Why are you still able to do that, Timmy Spelunky? Appreciate it. Okay, that's a bear trap. Okay, this lives here right now. He's helping. Over here. Ropes, all right. Not fair. Me legs! I should call you Reborn because uh, part of the story is Blakey is that you, every time you die, you resurrect back in the uh, the base. So you're being continually reborn to have uh, your adventure again. Wow, this is spicy. 
Kind of rude, even. Um... Is this gonna get burned? Yes. Right, that's pretty rude. Probably an easier way to do that, but safer? I'm not so sure. All right, kneel down, sir. Time to receive the highest honor Hell can receive. I dub thee Sir Help. You helped me once today. It was awesome. got going on here smiling wood onk is the urn for today's daily smiling wood onk is the one amara Power pack does not boost the attack of the sword, Tario. Sword's already like mega OP. Is what it is. Let's see where Waddler is. Up and right. Right here. Take one of those. Pretty nice amount of Yeti here, dude. Pretty nice. Let's see what kind of bubble we got here. We got the double bubble. That's great. Double bubble is the easiest one to get all the Yetis on the same tile. Give me that, the juice is loose. That was nice, man. Gained 12 HP right there? Hell yeah. And we're off. Hey, have a great night, Oakless. Thanks for hanging out, man. All right. I'm leaving. What a level. Smiling Woodonk is what I remember. 
I'm gonna double check when we get there though. Alright, what do we got going on here? Journey intro number 20. Smiling Wood Onk. We're looking for a smiling wooden urn with an Onk on it. It's right here, right at the entrance. I like this guy. Ooh. Pretty much not amused by this start. I'll be going around. Okay, the elevator got messed up there. Uh, daily and normal run uh, are generated from the same set of seeds uh, stop loading, so there's no real difference. Just the difference is that multiple people can experience the same seed. I think dailies often feel like they're a little bit harder because maybe you're a little more invested in them because it's a one-off run. That's how I feel anyways. Alrighty, places I don't want to be right here. Luxury dog are out of here. Okay, I'll wait one cycle here. Two cycles then? What? Okay. Me confused? I must have pressed the up input. Okay, this is still very possible. I am going to use a uh, safety bomb here, though. Okay, that's fine. Okay, one more up then. I was actually thinking about how to do this technique uh, <laughs> just the other night. It's gonna be tricky. Okay, I see now. The back doesn't actually start till one tile higher than that. Still think it's possible. Good run, but we did not make Cosmic Ocean. Sorry, believers. Stuff happens, miss an input, you lose your run. That's how Spelunky is. Well, there you have it. We're number 11 of the 152 players to go so far. Hope that run helps you out. Uh, pretty decent black market, though it seems like a good run for Vlad's Cape, certainly. No jetpack in the black market either. Smiling Wood Onk. And no other big details. 
challenging seed for sure. Yo, Renier, thanks so much for 10 months. Appreciate that continuation a lot. Huge amount of support today. Thank you all for making uh, this fragment so uh, so great so far. I mean, we're only 11 of our 31 streams here uh, into fragments. I've enjoyed every single one, enjoyed all of our games and all the time we spend together. Just thank you all again for making it great. That's going to conclude today's stream. Thanks for the great time. Wonderful company and awesome conversation. We'll do it again tomorrow for day 12 of 31 of our sixth annual Fragmas Summer. Appreciate you all very much. Catch you on the flip side. Looking forward to it already. Let's see if we got any cats on the way out. Probably not. No cats. Dang. Stop loading. Thanks for that five gift sub package as I'm signing off here, you madman. We'll catch you all tomorrow. Appreciate it.